Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? <laughs> is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he had some shit. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Welcome. 5150 is here in full effect. Oh, I can't see. Trying to make it without getting checked. <laughs> Trying to be nice. Sugar and spice. But don't come with that bullshit twice. I am Corey Holcomb. This is OG Darlene Ortiz. My man, Zoe Williams in this bitch. Yes, sir. Voice of Reason. Yes, sir. And we got to talk about it. Ice Cube is in the news. This is the relevant conversation to me because we know Ice Cube is a a brother who has the courage to speak up for himself. Ice Cube has done things to, um, like like Darlene say, check the pedigree. Um, brother Ice Cube has stood strong on a lot of issues that, um, you know, make you be like, okay, this is a man. This is a man right here. Um, but right now there are some things going on in the news that, I feel we must talk about because it is different sides to the story that needs to be spoke on. First of all, I want to say I got mad respect for Ice Cube, man. I'm talking about his accomplishments because it ain't it ain't easy getting things accomplished for as long as he's been able to get things accomplished in this cold ass game. But Ice Cube is still relevant, and he's relevant for a reason. And remaining relevant, in my opinion, is one of the reasons this thing is happening right now. Because um, I've watched different interviews around town. I watched him on Willie D's show today. Mm-hmm. And um, shit, man, I don't want Ice Cube to lose respect for me. But. It's submission, any way you put it. I'm talking about a man who done said some motherfucking profound shit speaking on them devils in his album, but here's the bottom line. If you want to stay relevant in this Hollywood game, in this business game, you you, you have to, what's, it, what's his name on 300? Xerxes? King Xerxes? King Xerxes. I will make you. Ruler of Aruba. I mean, uh, of Aruba. <laughs> right. I said Aruba. <laughs> I will make you warlord of all Greece. You you got to kiss the ring. If you're going to stay in this game, you're going to kiss the ring. The people where where I where I got on television a lot of times, I had to kiss the ring. Not flat out coming in. Oh, can I have it, please? Blah, 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 blah. That ain't me. But some of the people I talk to and deal with, I know are major devils in the game. <laughs> and they have bitten me a lot of times. Times when I thought, oh, I'm ready for the devil. Nah, then they found a new way to bite me. I submit it. It's just it ain't on the, it ain't on the level that we are seeing with Brother Ice Cube because all his shit is out there. But everybody in Hollywood who's black, who is part of the Hollywood machine has submitted to get it. Ain't no motherfucker just out there getting it. 
and ain't motherfucking bow their head. Ain't that what they said on the planet of the age? Bow, bow your, your head. head. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you want it, you gonna bow your head. Trust me. And this motherfucker's coming at me talking crazy. Oh, Corey, you mad because your career ain't shit. Woo, woo, woo. Man, let me tell all you motherfuckers something, man, who, who had the courage to listen. My career is great. I ain't never, once I realize how this game go, I realize I probably never be some big Hollywood star. If I do, if, if you ever see me in Hollywood really getting it, that mean a door has cracked open enough where I ain't got to totally sell out. <laughs> I ain't got to totally sell out. I mean, I ain't finna put on no lipstick and dress. I ain't finna do that. But you know what I'm saying? I was on Black Jesus and I was saying nigga all on TV. Is that different than what Ice Cube is doing? Different than what Ice Cube is doing? Yeah. What do you mean? Ice Cube is doing business with Trump. I'm not talking about this plan. That ain't what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, we, so you, you're talking about something else. The research has been done with Ice Cube in order to keep getting these ends, especially like the big three basketball. Mm. He had to get in bed with Trump people. Trump right hand man type people. Mm. This is this is how it goes. I mean, like, do you think Ice Cube gonna be like, hey, I wanna have a big three basketball tournament that's gonna be all on TV? No, there's gonna be a major devil attached to that. You talking about the financier? I'm talking about being allowed to do it. Mm. Well, who who is the the Trump person that he connected with? Yeah, because he says he still never even connect, met Trump. I believe he ain't never met Trump. That's what I'm saying. A man like Ice Cube is not going to be able to smile with Trump like that. <laughs> like mm -hmm. if they be like, you got to meet Trump and go shake his hand in front of the nation. Mm -hmm. Now that's Steve Harvey type shit. Yeah. Steve Harvey is straight up coon type nigga. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Ice Cube is trying to do this shit in a way where he play right down the middle because he ain't talking shit about Trump. Y'all motherfuckers ask me, who is the dude? Yeah. I think I got it right here. I think I got it. It is, I, I hope this is it. Nope. Damn. Bleacher Report. <laughs> Ice Cube send message to Donald Trump with ad in New York Times. Wait. With a lawsuit on their hands, Ice Cube and the Big Three are going straight to President Donald Trump in hopes of finding help in their case against Qatari investors. Oh, the Qatari investors, the Arabs, I guess. Right. See, they going to Trump because the dude who owns the Big Three with Ice Cube mm -hmm. is Trump's man. A woman named Katrina Pearson, a senior advisor, though, for the president, tweeted that Cube helped develop Trump's platinum plan. Leaders gonna, yeah, they trying to take said, credit for his plan. Yeah, she yeah. said, leaders gonna lead, haters gonna hate, she wrote. Thank you for Fuck leading. Fuck you, bitch. Look, Ice Cube, whatever Ice Cube put together, he, he said he put together with some brothers who are, um, been doing this their whole life. Hmm. Yeah. Um, fighting for black rights their whole life. Dr. Claude Anderson. Uh, Trump them. From what I understand, took pieces of what Q came with and put it in they shit. That's because this is what, what they, they do. They Q. jacked his, his Donald shit. Trump's whore wife did Michelle Obama's speech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, like, I speech like recycling for politicians. Right, these motherfuckers is, is, is dirtbags. We know that. Yeah. And um, Willie D is a, is a well spoken brother, and he, he said it in a real well spoken way about. Man, you better than me, Q, because I don't even fuck with that motherfucker. Meaning, like, I know he gonna lie and all that shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, but the main thing I'm trying to get people to understand. Wait a minute. This is Ice Cube's boss slash business partner, Jeff Quatnitz. Jeff owns the Big Three Basketball League. Jeff o also owns Ice Cube Production Company, Cube Vision. Now, I don't know how true this is. This is on the internet. Mm -hmm. But according to this, it says, Jeff, also best friends and business partners with Steve Bannon. 
Yes, that's Steve Bannon. Oh. The guy that's best friends with Donald Trump. So we got it right here. If you in Hollywood, you are plugged. You got, you got a hook up. You black, they not gonna ever give you no money to get nothing done. Craig Hodges won the NBA championship with Jordan. What? Went to the goddamn White House, gave George Bush Sr. a plan for black people that they had came up with. Craig Hodges never played basketball in the NBA again. Go look it up. Well. The reason this plan that Ice Cube is um, implementing is getting all this attention because it works for them. They like, oh, we can play this where it worked for us. We're going to put Cube name out there. But I'm not excusing. I'm not saying Cube is totally innocent. Cube is playing right down the middle. And when somebody play down the middle, come on. You ain't on nobody's side? Oh, okay. He keeps saying... Oh, I'm doing this for black people and all this shit. And I'm like, oh, man, and Cube. People, I, got, I, I got, like I said, I got respect for Cube, but I'm like, my nigga, no. But you got to be. You the motherfucker. Do you know the shit Ice Cube has said on his goddamn CDs? Ice Cube yeah. say real 100 shit. Talking about the devil motherfuckers and all that shit. Now. You ain't got nothing to say about Donald Trump. Let me tell you right how now. How the fuck he get out? When you mess with folks like that, Corey, you got to really watch how you go about it. Like, let's just say, mm -mm, I don't know. I kind of thought about it and I said, well, presenting something like that, maybe he should have been involved with it and then had somebody else, do you know what I'm saying, be that front guy or what have you. Now, look what they're doing to him. So now Eric Trump, now they're in a big, all kinds of stuff is fueling into this whole huge fire. So Eric Trump, that's one of the sons, now they're pissed off at him, Ice Cube fans, and probably Cube himself, because he shared a manipulated photo on Twitter of both Ice Cube and 50 Cent wearing Trump hats. It well, looks real, but it's not. And they said that he, and he said, um, oh, thank you for endorsing my father, two great courageous Americans. And so now people are pissed off that because it's do, fake. Man, if you fucking with Trump in any way, man, you fucking with straight devil. See, right away they do that. But if you want to hide behind this for black people, be down, my nigga. But I'm too big. I know you, Cube. I'm talking about, well, let me say this. I know your music. I know the shit you said. Mm -hmm. This goes against everything you was talking about in your music. Now that, mm -hmm. I agree with. That piece, <laughs> I mean, I agree with. And that Zoe, piece. I could tell when I came in, Zoe is not trying to motherfucking say nothing about Ice Cube, and I'm not either. But I'm just telling the truth. I, Ice Cube is one of the inspirations to my career. The things he said and done, right? But Sorry. now he's sitting here not saying shit about the far left or the far right. Well, well. well. So do you agree or disagree that what they're actually trying to do? But what are they trying to do? Well, apparently create dialogue between whoever's going to be in position, because let him tell it, you, you never know who's going to win November 3rd, but he said that they reached out to him first. Let's say Aries Spears is the president. Mm. Do you think I got anything to say to this motherfucker? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know what he is. I know he a dirtbag motherfucker. So I'm finna go over here and play like I don't know he a dirtbag motherfucker now? Hell no. Hell no. This is about dollars. This is about wealth. Rappers are intelligent enough to go into politics now because they have the influence to get votes. But I think I, that's what their celebrity is for. That's why politicians try to buddy up with celebrities. But I, I, I will say this about Q. When we had President Barack Obama, the, the big knock on the black community Joseph Clifton. is that the black community didn't have an agenda. <clears throat> they didn't come to Barack with an agenda to say, we as the black community want A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The last a thing you should have to come hands. to a nigga 
about black people problems and you the president is an agenda. Well, well, well what I'm saying is he's Barack the president. Barack Obama was raised under George Bush and fucked niggas in the ass. So, but but what I'm saying, hey Barack, how you doing? <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm so glad you came if, out. If, if you're the president man. of the free world and different groups of people come to you with their agenda, black people should have an agenda. Black people didn't have an agenda, and I think what Cube is doing, I think I think I mean I stand up for Cube. I think. He is using his celebrity in the smartest way that I've seen, which is I'm going to use my celebrity to bring attention to the black plight of America by creating that agenda. Nobody created an agenda for Barack Obama, not Jesse Jackson, not Tavis Smiley, not nobody. Nobody, nobody said, here's the agenda for black people. Barack, do this for us. That sounds insane. But bro. I think but, how the fuck you going to tell a nigga? To help the niggas. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, especially if it's a black president. Man, but I think, I think what it. Cube did with his contract with Black America, he was trying to bring attention to the plight, right, of Black America. And he was trying, and, and he worked with some, some pretty good people. He worked with Dr. Claude Anderson and Boyce Watkins. And, 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 uh, Where's Boyce Watkins? I don't know where he lives. I think he, he lives online. He has content online. But he worked with a lot of smart people to put this thing together. He's now working with uh, Antonio Moore, Tone Talks. He was trying to put all of these people together to create an agenda to present to both you parties. Never, right. He presented it to both parties. Now, from so why Biden... Not go to the, why not go to the guys who... The Ku Klux Klan? If they'll fund you, will you fuck with the Ku Klux Klan? Well, I don't think it's about funding. I think it's about legislation. What? It's about money. No. They talking about money. If the Ku Klux Klan say, Ice Cube, we'll give you money if you just say you down with us. Because well, well, that's what he did anyway. Well, he, he was <laughs> open. He was open to both Democrats and Republicans. Joe Biden's camp said, this is good. We'll talk to you later. We'll talk to that. you after the election. Mm -hmm. Well... He played them all. Uh, yeah, and, and I, think, <laughs> I think he played them like white people play black people. In the movie is, 300, the hunchback what? motherfucker, uh, what's his name, told him, I cannot use you. Right. So then he went to where? Xerxes. He went to the other side. Right. That make him good? Well, he no, continually no, no, no. says that he doesn't support him, though. He continually says that he doesn't support Trump. I, I didn't hear him say that, but I'm just saying. Oh, that's what the, he keeps putting it out there, that he, he doesn't support him. Right. I did not hear that one time. Can you show me that? Oh, I don't know. Can you show me what anywhere he where he said, because he's, I watch Ice Cube when he talk. He's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. He does not dog out Trump. It would defeat his purpose. Well, mm -hmm. let me just say this, because to your point earlier about. Somebody say, look at Ice Cube pays. What is to, to, your point, mob <laughs> to your point earlier about doing deals with the devil, right? If you read the, the Art of War, diplomacy is part of war, right? Diplomacy is part of war. Depends on who you are. And who you do in business. First off, diplomacy can be an actual, uh, uh, you can have force behind diplomacy, meaning it could be an attack. You can say, I want to sit down and talk to the people that are in power and at the end of the day, you don't get my vote, you don't get my support, you don't get anything from my community if you don't give A, B, C, D, and you know, whatever. If you don't provide this. So, Tariq Nashi calls it tangibles, right? If I'm not voting for anything unless we get something tangible. What Biden did was basically say, I'll deal with this later, after I get your vote. After I said, you're not black if you don't vote for me. So you want to... Do you really think Biden is better than Bush? I don't think Biden is better than Trump. I don't think Biden... I mean, I don't, Trump. Yeah, that's what I, mean I don't think say. Biden... I think Biden is an old, racist, white man just like Donald Trump. Who smiled with the little black kid. That's, that's what I'm so saying. They so clean. But what I'm saying is, if you're in Damn a society it. and you are at war with this society... Part of your ability to move up in the society, you're going to have to be diplomatic. 
You're going to have to be able to negotiate. You're going to have to be able to sit down and, and at least present your terms. And I think that's what Ice Cube was trying to do, present his terms. So you think Ice Cube has to, power to present his terms to this motherfucking no, organization? No, what he, he doesn't have power. That man when, throw up white power when he talk all the time. I don't think and he And they has, ask him, do you, deny, do you denounce racism? And he danced around it the same way Brother Q dances around the questions of this Trump shit. You're 100% right about him not having power. He doesn't have power. But what he does have is influence, right? I agree. He does have influence. And most celebrities have influence. And this is why most politicians try to get on board with celebrities. They try to ride with celebrities. Look at the versus battle. Oh, before Brandy and Monica goes on, because they're gonna have such a huge audience, let's have Kamala Harris jump on and, and talk about the election first. Is that first. when the bitch was dancing? That's, well, well, she was there and they brought her on. That's because of the celebrities' influence. Now, he doesn't have power, but he has influence. And I think he was smart in trying to use his influence to try to get something done for black folk uh, as a collective. Let me tell you something. When Barack Obama won that first election, half the country was out there celebrating. Well, they were celebrating an image. They were celebrating a mannequin of blackness, not no, real blackness. No, they didn't they, have an agenda for blackness. They were so glad he won like he did. Yeah. It was almost like a national holiday all of a sudden. Yeah, they thought the struggle was over because he won. Nobody of, had a real agenda. He talked and how he came with that hope sucker shit. Hope is the most suckerest word in the fucking human dictionary. Hope and change. Usually, what is it? What was it? Hope. You, no, but do you remember what I, used, what I used to say? What'd you say? Hope is usually, mostly, delayed disappointment. Yes. Yes. That was and, Barack Obama. And, Hope and, and, yes. and praising a gay NBA player for admitting that he'd been looking at dicks in the locker room his whole career. Yes, but, but dick but, people. But again, diplomacy and being able to have a diplomatic component to your war strategy benefits and it actually raises your chances of winning. War isn't just about killing. You have to have a different way of attacking in war. And sometimes negotiation is part of that. And what Cube is trying to do is use his influence to negotiate a better situation for black people in general. Now, the converse, the, 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 the reverse of that is 50. 50 just came out and said, let's vote for Trump. But he's talking from an economic space that most black people aren't in. Right. And so they're so he's, he's talking him, about right. voting for Trump for his self, for his brain. Because it'll affect his bracket, Ooh. right? His money. 50. 50 he's in the news. His little that. tax bracket. Well, we know 50 going to do it for the money. Right. Mm, yeah. I but mean, I, like, it, it's, nothing, it's nothing that 50 is going to do mm -hmm. that's going to be news to me like this. Right. A brother like Ice Cube. You and me grew up on Ice Cube lyrics. I, this is the part I can't argue with you on. I Man, was do mad. you know how much real shit Ice Cube done said? Right. And now where you at? Right. And if you take the, the doctrine from the nation, which Cube was aligned with, the doctrine from the nation was do for self. Don't ask the devil or this society for anything. So this is a 180 degree spin on that. Uh, it's the way you say it, Zoe, that don't sound as um, uh, uh, straight to the point. I appreciate the way you speak, brother. I really do. But I don't know how to talk like that. So I really hope people don't think I am against Ice Cube. If Ice Cube was my friend, I would tell him, oh, nigga, you bullshitting, but get your money, homie. But this is like public enemy. This is like public enemy almost breaking up because they're going to do a rally for Bernie Sanders. You know, this is the same group that said, who gives a fuck about a goddamn Grammy, but then goes to the Grammys years later. So it's again, it's all about where you at. I put something on there. I said, mm. when the money get loaded, the hungriness show. In, in reference to Ice Cube, and people was talking about how much money Ice Cube got. I'm like, 
okay, I understand why you simpletons think that's the money. See, there's some, there's a certain thing in this country. It's like you got some, you got some ends. Ice Cube got some real ends. He ain't hurting for shit. But being wealthy is not having a hundred and sixty million dollars. That's not wealthy. That's having some ends, motherfucker. You can buy some houses and and motherfucking put your bitches up and all that shit. That type of money. Right. I'm talking about it's motherfuckers out here who own shit for real. Mm -hmm. And Ice Cube is trying to be part of the next level of money having motherfuckers. Cause that's why you get into politics. So you in the game. Or or look at Camilla Camilla Harris. Is that a name? Kamala. Kamala. Yes. Kamala. Yes. This an old party bitch who <laughs> Wait, who what? took the easy route and settled down with a co a Caucasian male so she ain't got to be popped off. Ooh. She didn't know that the fucking manipulating ass colonizer was going to ask her to run for vice president. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She probably thought she was like finished. I, mm. I can't say this, but I know she didn't think that motherfucker was going to be like, hey, I want you to be my my um, whatever for um, my, my running mate. Oh, I think she She was that. picked for a reason. Mm. I heard of the dirtbag shit she did. Uh -oh. So they was like, oh, this bitch is perfect. Mm. Perfect politician. I made, it a, made it the right stuff. Yeah. But, but I, I would say this. I think... Bitch look like Alf. <laughs> I think revolutionary groups like Public Enemy... Put Alf um, right next to Kamala Harris' face and you'll see the same person. Public Enemy and Ice Cube and, and the work that he did back in the day. When you young, it's, it's fuck the government. It's, yeah. it's fuck all of that. But as you get older... Maybe they came to the realization that maybe the shit we was talking about on our records is unrealistic. Meaning, if you take the doctrine from the nation, which says do for self, which says separate. First off, an unhealed people, a broken people can't unify without first healing the trauma that they've been through. So there's a psychological process and a spiritual healing that has to take place. So maybe they got to a point where in their lives where they said, well, damn, I don't see us unifying. So the best thing to do is go to the political structure and say, hey, what's up with some legislation that protects these people from police brutality, from economic uh, 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 disparities yeah. from educational disparities. Uh, again, I love nobody the way you wants. It. I'm just saying nobody wants to do a deal with the devil. But if doing a deal with the devil is the lesser of two evils, if you understand what I'm saying, if we look at the condition of our people, maybe Ice Cube and say Chuck D are at that point mm -hmm. where but they say it's not the lesser of two peoples. Of course, this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's not the lesser of two peoples. It's like. Fuck it, I might well do this, so I'm in the game. Mm. It ain't the lesser. Doing what's right is what's right. right. Doing what's wrong is what's wrong. And if you fucking with motherfuckers that get over 20 women talking about, oh, this motherfucker sexually assaulted me. If you fucking with motherfuckers that say what he said about Mexicans, the Hispanic yeah, people, mm -hmm. say this is... Women. What? Right. Yeah. But, Women. But, but again, if you're dealing with the Hispanic group, as Antonio Moore or Tariq Nasheed would say, Tariq would say tangibles. Antonio Moore is saying, you, we're not voting for free. You got to look at your vote as a type of currency. What does it buy you? Biden already said, your vote ain't going to buy shit. He said, I'll get back to you later. That means... Pay for something that I don't have any clear idea of how I'm going to reimburse you. I don't give reimburse a fuck you. who the president of the United States is. I know that I'm behind enemy lines. I'm smart enough to know that. Yes. Now, I pray for people who actually think who the president is makes a difference in what's going to happen to your black ass in America. I mean, like, we've seen people who study this thing that Trump is talking about some platinum plan 
And they say it ain't got shit for black people. Well, the got, platinum it's, plan it's, it's is really in, it's written in a slick way. Right. The platinum plan is really a bunch of loans. It's like a record deal. It's like the old school record deal. It's loans, basically. Right? Yeah. <laughs> How you going to give $500 billion in loans? Mm. We still got to pay this shit back. Well, that doesn't close the wealth gap. Right. Then you got to pay it back. That way they always got your thumb on your ass. Exactly. Mm. That they thumb on you. You will never be able to roam this country as Caucasians do. Right. I just feel like Cube was genuine in his presentation of his plan. Can now, you show Cube, me where he's genuine? What, what I'm saying is his intent for intent. why he put it out. I just believe that he's genuine from that space. Now, Cube is a, is a rapper. He's a legendary rapper. He's a legendary actor, producer, director. That's what Cube is. He's not a politician. But I do respect the fact that he reached out to the folk to say, help me put this thing together. And, it, and of course, it's flawed, sure. But I think his intention was in the right place, and I think he used his celebrity correctly by trying to bring attention to the case for reparations, to the case for closing the wealth gap. Is, is, is he the right man to do it? I don't know, but he did it. And what's really... What did he do? Uh, he put out that fucking plan. And who else and, was involved with it? Uh, you had Dark Hamilton. You you had uh, Dr. Claude Anderson. See, so he Power Nomics. He was basically the face because those other people were. Yeah, he him. went to some folk. But here's the thing that that fucked with me. I think that me. the plan is of good intention yeah. okay. for black people. Can I? Did everybody hear me say that? I think that the plan is of good intention for black people. Mm -hmm. But. You can't take the plan to the Ku Klux Klan because they paying you. If the Ku Klux Klan is paying for something to help black people, it's not going to help black people. But that's where we agree. <laughs> I, I think black people are in such a bad state that doing a deal with the devil makes sense. That's pretty fucking bad. When you go to the devil, you might as well be a single mom. But oh, oh shit! No, that's all they do. They go to the colonizers to yeah, fix right. their problems. Right. This my my son and his stepfather, her husband was arguing, and my son called me while they was arguing, mm -hmm. and all I heard in the back was from her, "Call the police." I'm like, "Why are you calling the police to your house?" That's the first thing I said. Why the fuck are you calling the police? Do you know the police will come in there and kill somebody? Why the fuck do... What the fuck? You can't go to the police for help, man. And, and, and we, like I said... We, we that fucked. I, I agree with you. The system... Uh, <laughs> you can't go to police. You can't go to Trump. You can't go to these people and look for genuine help. You might get somebody killed. But see, again, I agree with you there. Going to a corrupt system for the solution to your problems, I think, is crazy. However, the flip side of it is this. We got people in our community who are vigorously tearing down Cube, but they ain't did shit but watch YouTube videos. Right, well, you know what I'm saying, like, like ignorant well, folks, do something before you criticize what was done. Ignorant folks gonna always say something, dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, 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 um, when Russell Westbrook left a eight thousand dollar tip for the people who work at the hotel down there when they was in the bubble, right. mm -hmm. people say, ah, oh, he could have gave more. So Just stupid motherfuckers. Right, you, can't, you can't do nothing about people who have no reason, have no intelligence, because they normally sitting in a place where somebody taking care of them or they motherfucking out here fucked up. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. I, I just, mean, like, I'm not I, here to I, tear I just, down no Ice Cube. I, like I said, part of my comedy, part of my foundation comes from some of Ice Cube's tapes. Mm -hmm. Right. The shit he used to say, I was inspired to watch him walk away from the, the crooked hella motherfucker that was fucking everybody over. Right. He was the first one to be like, fuck that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I and mean, and that was not just Jerry Harrell. That was Jerry, Jerry Heller and um, Easy. Right. Because Easy stayed down with him. The first time I ever heard Minister ain't Farrakhan's. Ain't that what Cube's doing right now? Ain't that what Cube's doing right now? What? Same thing. Easy E did, right? What do you mean? Went to the motherfucking crooked side. Oh, you saying by by doing a deal with or trying to do a deal with. Donald Trump, that is analogous to Ice Cube or what Easy E. What the fuck does analogous mean? It's an analogy. Oh, <laughs> that's an okay. analogous to uh, Easy E a, um, doing a deal. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> ancient Greece homosexual. No, oh, analogous. Yeah, cunnilingus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, fuck with I'm just saying that that's the bigger message that I got from Cube reaching out to the powers that be on both sides. I just think he was saying <laughs> us doing it by ourselves or working together or, or cooperating with each other ain't going to be enough. Look, we got to join them because we ain't going to get it no other way. Okay, y'all can make it sound better if you want to. Well, I would say this. If you look at the current state of our people, can we get it together? If we are left alone. D do we have to leave each other alone? I didn't say we have to leave each other alone. No, no, no. What I'm saying, I, 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 I understand what you're saying okay, if okay. the system leaves us alone. But what I'm saying is after they leave us alone, how are we going to heal? Oh, we naturally heal. See, we're not warmongers. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed black people don't even want to go to war with white people? Mm -hmm. And everything that's happened to us, we should be at arms with them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. If we are left alone, we can begin to heal. I believe we can not, begin the process. You're right. We're not left alone. Mm. We're offered shit. Mm. Trinkets. Mm. Mm. Let me wave this over the nigga here. Nigga don't so, look, it's a lot of niggas didn't want to take it. It's right. a lot of niggas like, damn, I don't want to sell out, but I want to fuck my bitches and keep them around. <laughs> do you know what money does? Money keeps your bitches in your life. But do, do you know that systemic Unless poverty... Unless you marry them and they can get to, your, get to your money without having your permission. But all the bitches that still need your permission, if you got money, it's very hard for them to walk away. Right. And but, all this shit adds up to money. But do you know that systemic poverty is a social construct much the same way as race is? They created... A, class, a caste system, a class system based on color, based on race. And they did the same thing based on money. Listen, black people had their own money during segregation. They had their own towns during segregation. Listen, they, what happened they, to they blew up Tulsa because right. black on, people so were know. doing it. They, they uh, Rosewood, they did all of these things because black people worked together and handled their business and built themselves up. Again, when you look at economic redlining, uh, you can't, your money, heck, black people in America have heard the saying, your money is no good here. Mm. So if you don't think racism is affixed to economics, you crazy. I don't normally do politics because yeah. It's There's just so many people who believe that you're going to vote your way into something or you're going to cooperate your way into something or whatever. So, you know, I understand that it's me. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad to be me. I don't think that nothing is going to happen where your vote or your submission is going to do anything to get us out of the predicament we in right now when it comes to equal treatment we are not even considered people under the law now this is so how the fuck are you gonna write something where black people should get this and you ain't even considered people and you dumb motherfuckers do you know what that means and this is where i agree with you i agree with you because name name a treaty white huh. america upheld huh not for the Just name. name one treaty the name that they, they said, you know what, we going to honor this treaty. They was talking so about I the agree stuff, with you in They was talking sense. about the stuff George Bush, I mean, uh, Donald Trump didn't withheld. Mm -hmm. The different treaties that he was supposed to be up with and just flat out was like, fuck y'all, I ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, I, I agree. I, I, just, I think it's very difficult to do the deal with the devil. I think it, it reminds me of that fucking scene in Star Wars when Darth Vader told... I'm altering the deal. Pray Lando, that don't change it even they, further. Pray that I don't change it any further. When he told Lando Calrissian, pray that I don't change the deal any further. A dumb motherfucker think I'm sitting up here talking shit. But real G motherfuckers, the only motherfuckers I try to impress, I know see what I'm saying. What the fuck I look like bashing Ice Cube when it's the same thing when it comes to my brother Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. When my brother Nick Cannon was apologizing about that shit, he said he did the same thing Ice Cube doing right now. But I trust that it's better to have a Nick Cannon in that spot than a Terry Crews, a motherfucker who mm. seems to hate himself and other Negroes like him, Stephen off Django type nigga. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't think Ice Cube is that type of man, but I do think he has made a decision. I'm not about to jump in the pool with the regular niggas. I'm about to be over here with these other people who got wealth. Mm. I, uh, That's what I think is happening. I don't. I don't agree with that. I, I I commend Cube for for at least trying to bring the plight of Black America to the attention of the motherfuckers who will whore themselves out for our vote, but can give two shakes of a fat rat's ass about our plight. But do you know what Craig Hodges did? I know. I, Craig Hodges trains my son. Do you know what he did? I, I know what he did. He lost his career for doing something Ice Cube is doing. Right. The only difference between him and Ice Cube, Ice Cube is plugged with them motherfuckers and they can use him. But no, I, I would say Ice Cube and, and Craig Hodges are in the same boat because it's a different time. Craig Hodges, Craig Hodges could asking, not speak back then. Craig Hodges no. didn't come asking for shit. He came with a plan and gave it to them. Wasn't no mm -hmm. money attached to it or nothing, mm -hmm. just something they can do to help black America. Mm. And but, he was simply blackballed for it. Right, but that was a different time. You know who else was blackballed? Abdul Rauf. Yeah, and what right? did he do? Chris did he Jackson. do something wrong? He didn't do nothing wrong. He was blackballed too. It was that time, but we're no, in No, Kaepernick, a they did the same thing to Kaepernick. Oh, but wait a minute now, wait oh. a minute. Kaepernick. It, it, it wasn't the time. The same reason Abdul Raul mm -hmm. got kicked out the NBA mm -hmm. is the same reason but, my man Kaepernick got kicked out of the NFL. They would not submit. But Abdul Raul couldn't take the NBA to court for discrimination and win. Kaepernick took the N NFL to court for discrimination and won $80 million. What was... Abdul's last name? Mahmoud Rauf. What did Brother Rizza say when he was here about being able to be on Islam the internet? Islam is a threat. That word. Mm. Any Muhammad, any mm. last name it's like that. Instantly. Right. It's, it's instantly flagged. Mm -hmm. Kaepernick was raised by Caucasian folks. Mm -hmm. So they took a little money out there. They took a token out their bag and threw it at him. But did, and I'm glad he got the money. But did, but, the, did the NBA do what the NFL did? The mm -hmm. NFL, Roger Goodell, came back and said, we got it wrong. Has the, NF, has the NBA come back and said, that was wrong. That was racist. <laughs> that was religious discrimination that we did against Chris you Jackson. You're absolutely right, Zoe. Even though the goddamn Constitution tells you we don't discriminate against But both against of them religion. men was mm. stopped. Mm. Was stopped. From doing what they do, right. both of them, right? Well, he and this was done. All the dumb motherfuckers who don't know nothing about what the fuck is really going on out here, motherfucker finna say, Mahmoud, "Oh, Kaepernick, Abdul but Rose. he but blah, 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 blah. No, both of them brothers was not able to do what they were pros at because of them not submitting. That's what happened. Well, you, you, mm. uh, we've said this on, on on mansions. We've said this on this show. If you're a black man in America, in corporate America, trying to move up the corporate ladder, part of your success is dependent on your ability to bend the knee. You have to capitulate. You can't be the real black man that real white men fear. Mm. You can't. Yeah, not even. If you're going to yeah. be around them, mm. they must be comfortable around you.
And if you start holding them accountable and calling them to the floor, you got to go. So we, uh, we agree with that 100%. Yeah. You're not ever going to be able to and, speak. And the other part that we, we agree on is if you're Ice Cube and you're America's Most Wanted mm -hmm. and that you're the nigga great, they, That was great literature. Do you see what I'm saying? People call it music. That was great literature. Right. right. America's Most Wanted. And, and you're public enemy, right? And it's fear of a black planet, right? And then you, you go to to do business with the people that in your records you call the devil. Now, I don't fault them for that. This is what it showed me. It showed me that we so sick that we refuse to be our own solution. Well, 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 but like, that's what it showed what, me. I heard what you said, but I'm lost. Who is so sick that our they refuse? Black people in America. Well, I don't, I'm, uh, damn, I don't understand what you said. Who wrote your standard of success? Who wrote your standard of happiness? The White House and the picket fence? Who wrote every motherfucking aspiration you have? Did you write it? What the fuck does keeping up with the Joneses mean? Mm. What the fuck does putting on a mask mean? This is what, this what I'm trying to say, Corey. Do okay, you know... The millions of white families, there's 80 million white families in America, and like 15 million of those motherfuckers are worth a million dollars liquid. I feel you on this, though, but what I'm saying to those you Those are the this, Joneses. This is what <laughs> needs to be said. All the people who are aware, because mm -hmm. I know a group of people that I will say are aware, mm -hmm. they're ousted off the internet. They're ousted mm -hmm. from society. And right. And happened. this group of people that I know that are aware, I ain't scared to say it. Mm -hmm. the, well, I'll put it like this. The most aware group of black people I have witnessed in America. Mm -hmm. Do I need to say it? Keep going. Do I need to say it? Mm -hmm. It's my brothers over there who up under the minister. The nation? Mm. The nation of Islam. Yeah. Go to some of their functions. You hear all this bullshit, whoop, 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 mm -hmm. but they on top of their game. They ain't falling for the sucker shit. Mm -hmm. And most of them, most of them have something that we don't have, which mm -hmm. is discipline. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Mm -hmm. No argument there. If you are fucking with Donald Trump, whether it's indirectly or not, mm -hmm. you lack discipline. Well, I you think lack it, discipline. I, I think it's I think it's broader than that. You lack a community. You lack the support of your community. What do you mean when you say that? I don't understand. Listen, a Mexican can say, I'm from Mexico, or I can go back to Mexico, or my heritage goes back to Mexico, or my grandparents are still in Mexico. Mm -hmm. A Japanese person can say, Hey, fuck this. I'm going back to Japan. Mm -hmm. Where do black people? Now, my brother Tariq says FBA, Foundational Black Americans. And my brother Tone says ADOS, uh, ADOS, American descendants of slaves. Where the fuck do we go back to? No, 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 no. We don't have that pleasure. We stuck in it. The only problem is mentally we have bought in. We go to them Be, because, for what we need. Because they have presented themselves as the standard of every type of success. Who? In America. White people. To who? To black people. Not to the nation. Listen, the nation. That's and, what I'm saying. And let me say, that's a small group of us. Okay. However many it is. That's a small group I'm, of us. I bear witness mm -hmm. that as I am in the presence our brothers and sisters from the nation, whether they be young or old, mm -hmm. they good folk. The way they carry themselves mm -hmm. is not the sucker shit that goes on with the average motherfuckers out here with a goddamn baby mama and, and, right. and, and ain't got Shout nothing out. to show for it. Shout out to brother, uh, uh, brother Terry Baker. Shout out to Brother Minister Tony Muhammad. 
Shout out to RZA. Listen. I done seen some crooked motherfuckers in the nation. Mm -hmm. But there are what's some. funny to me is this. They, they the greatest actors of them all. <laughs> they <laughs> not out yeah, yeah. there laying in the street, mm -hmm. doing all kind of shit to embarrass themselves or one of their brothers might see them. Mm -hmm. And right. that's a form of discipline. But you see what day. I'm saying? The crooked motherfuckers I done met in the nation right. are the best actors in the world because they come like they on top of their shit. Right, but a doctrine is not going to strip you from your human nature. So if you crooked, that by nature, that's who the fuck you gonna be. Can somebody from the nation go to Trump and get help? And then be still fucking with the nation? I think... I, can somebody answer that for me? But let me say if this. If you are with the nation of Islam, can you go to Donald Trump for any motherfucking thing and be with the brothers the next day? But, but I, I would say this. The minister... Nope. No. I, what I, what I, when you real with it, it ain't no in-between motherfuckers. Right. I don't like in between motherfuckers. Right. And that's most of the niggas I know. But what is a diplomat? You tell me a messenger? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. A diplomat. Tell me what a diplomat is, though, so I know. No, I'm, I'm I asking you. I don't want to get this wrong. Because a, a diplomat has to present an argument mm. for the side that he represents in a respectful way. Now, how do you show respect? to your opponent. You first have to understand their ways. How do you understand their ways if you don't learn about them? I'm not saying people don't learn about them. I'm so, not taking that from nobody. So now put yourself in the bottom, the bottom cast of this society. And your unity is so fragmented that you are not gonna be able to get with your people to better your situation. So now you have to use diplomacy to be able to create an approach, mom. I need to approach you because you're in power. How do you get them to recognize your position that they put you in and have any level of empathy or morality Wait. with regards to helping you? So I That's love, the art of I war. I love what you just said, but I just want to make sure you say it again so I can say something back to that. What did you just say? How do you do what? How do you approach these people and get them to see what your problem is and show empathy and morality and ethics? How do you get them to do that if all you got is fluster, anger, condescension, you owe me? They're not going to listen. <laughs> Let me tell you something. About How do you do it? it? Let me tell you something about the people in power right now. Mm -hmm. They're in power because they're the gangsters. No there question. There is no such thing as respect. No question. You can't play dumb and somebody got to give you, oh, this is what we need is black people. They know what you need is black people. Right. They're making sure you don't get it. So basically, right. And when you come to them joke. groveling about what you want. No argument. They already know. Try oh, motherfucker, help. we run mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. No argument. But what you the fuck? If I'm the, motherfucker, if I'm the motherfucker Big G on the block, God mm -hmm. damn it. What the fuck I look like listening to the motherfucker who ain't on shit coming at me with shit? I might tell him, hey man, shut the fuck up talking to me. Right. But that ain't how it go. Right. Motherfuckers phony with you. And they be like, oh yeah, make sure you give us your plan. You know why it didn't happen? Because y'all didn't give us a plan yet. And I'll give you... The fuck out of here. You know the plan. I'm you, riding you with that. You making sure the plan never goes. I'm riding with that. Because so way, most of their plans have been disingenuous. Be at all. Yes. Nothing, just to sit back or just try to handle things, the community themselves. Like, what do you expect? Well, the community we... needs spiritual therapy. What is spiritual therapy? It's not the therapy that the white man said. I don't know what spiritual therapy is. That's why spiritual I'm spiritual therapy. They need some. We need some healing from the inside out. Okay. Person to person, home to home, community to community. We need some healing. We got to break up with the white man's definitions of success. We got to break up with the white man's definition of love, of wealth, of happiness. And we have to become the authors of our own reality. And until we do that, what they got, you know, you've heard that saying, the white man's ice is colder. The white man's water is sweeter. The, everything the white man has will be compared to what you have and deemed as better. Now, until we heal, how the fuck we gonna enact unity?
And, and let me just say this. The nation of Islam. Until we heal, how are we going to enact How are we going to enact unity? How are we going to create unity amongst it ourselves? It ain't by giving some plan to Donald Trump. But this, this, what I'm saying is the answer is hmm. in us. But in our current state, the answer is in the system that has what we labeled as power. The, the power we covet. You say this, the answer is in the system? In the system. That's what I'm saying. That's how we're looking at it. We're saying, we don't have power. That's how who looking at it, brother? Let me, just, let, let me break I'm, this I'm, down. When you talk, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, I understand. I'm just trying to make sure I catch you because right. I don't believe the system got any good for me and you. Like I saw on the internet, the police get me and you on the street. Right. And the motherfucking doctors get the women in the hospital. But this goes back to the point I made earlier about our state is so bad that we would look at a system that hates us, that degrades us, that disrespects us, that kills us, that pits our women against us, that makes everything in our lives horrible. We'll look at that as a better solution than working with each other. And I'm saying there is a spiritual, generational, psychological curse on black people that we need to heal from the inside out. And I want to say this, all the black people who aren't sick like that are ousted from this society, whether it be the internet or anything else. Mm. And most of them, most of the brothers who I see in a large group, I'm not saying the Nation of Islam is the only brothers who see what need to be seen, mm -hmm. but I'm saying most of the people in a large group who seem to be on top of this game out of brothers from the motherfucking nation of Islam. But, and why the fuck do we allow them to kick people like Minister Farrakhan off the internet and still fuck with the internet? Right. Mm. Agreed. Create your own internet. Mm. Right. But let me just say this. Our best example of blackness, and I agree with you, our best example of black discipline, of black do-it-for-self, of black unity, is the nation of Islam. However, it is the very same nation of Islam out of New Jersey that those men killed Malcolm and that community kept it secret. They showed more unity in keeping the killer who killed Malcolm X. They kept, they had more unity in keeping that part a secret. He was around the people. The brother had a community outreach center, but he is the trigger man who killed Malcolm. And we showed unity in not speaking up on who he was. And that's our best example. Well, let me tell you something about how this shit really go if you motherfucking got any type of tribal understanding. You don't cross the tribe. When you cross the tribe, you open the door to all kind of shit. So make sure you lead that part in. It ain't no bullshitting your peoples. Mm -hmm. When I grew up in the area I grew up, of course things are a lot looser now, you can't bullshit them niggas you fuck with. Agreed. Them niggas will be like, hold on G, what you say? Mm -hmm. Like, it'll be for real. Right. Like, hold on, so put that on something. Mama gonna be looking right at you. I dare you to bullshit. Right. Just like our brother so RZA said. Just remember that. Whenever you part of something, you can't do the Takashi 6 9 shit and right. still walk the streets. But Trust just, me. Just like our brother. It's dangerous. Just like our brother RZA said, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad put out a decree don't nobody touch him. Minister Louis Farrakhan said it. Don't know body touch him but guess what we touched him and not only did we touch him we took him from his kids and we protected him if that's our best example of unity we're in a bad space well i'll put it like this i know the man that i'm just keeping it real mm. the man donald trump who people are presenting to him with something for black people has not only crossed motherfuckers in the street, 
he crossed his own motherfuckers that's around him. Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. He don't give a fuck about nothing for mm -hmm. real yeah. and has shown this with his actions. Mm -hmm. So if we point the fingers at people, just make sure this come full circle back around to what we was talking about, man. Mm -hmm. You fucking with the other side, nigga. Make and, it sound however you want to make it sound. And it's, it's, and it's just to change a whole thing on that if you're ready for it. But yeah, it's causing a lot of rift in the community as well because now you have other people in the industry chiming in. I don't know if you guys have heard, because now there's a, now there's a Twitter beef between D.L. Hughley and Ice Cube, um, because D.L. Hughley said that he, um, says that Cube's not qualified to discuss serious political matters with any kind of, any campaign. He also said Ice Cube isn't winning at chess, he's losing at poker. Ice Cube responded that after that with an emoji of a middle finger. DL doubled up by saying, um, uh, oh, Cube responded to Hughley saying, comment, and he commented saying, I hope all these people with podcasts, this is Cube saying, with podcasts and radio shows telling the world that I'm not qualified and uneducated to talk about a document that I created, don't, uh, don't what does he say, don't get asked to pull out their communications degrees and show that they're qualified and educated enough to speak to you over airwaves. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's Cube, it's like, he, 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 he clapping back, but um, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody to say what Cube isn't qualified to do. And, and certainly and not DL. And he's going at it with Don Lemon. It, right, DL, DL is an intelligent brother. He speaks on a lot of stuff. But that doesn't make you an expert at it. That's and, what he meant. That's what he meant and, and, and here's the thing. Although I agree with you that he might not be qualified, but is he using his celebrity properly mm. by trying believe, to bring attention to this? I don't believe that Cube is not qualified. Cube is qualified to do whatever the fuck he want to do. How do who the fuck determines if somebody qualified? That's why Cube checked him. He did check Cube. Right. It's, it's, it's attacking the man's character by saying he's not qualified. You're qualified. Anybody whose main source of income comes from the colonizers, mm. you're not qualified to say shit. Because if you say something real, they do you like I did. They did my brother Nick Cannon. Mm. So if your check, if your main source of income come from the colonizers, there's some motherfucking talent out here. The people chose them. Mm -hmm. Even if Hollywood ain't fucking with them, they can go out here and the people will pay to go see them. That's great. But what I'm saying is, man, hold up. I ain't see. That's the thing. I'm not here to talk down on Q. But I'm a motherfucking, I'm old enough to say straight up, look, my nigga, hold up. You over there with them people acting like, oh, it's cool, y'all. I'm just finna holler at them for a minute. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I, hey, I don't know how you make it right, but that ain't, that don't sound like no shit that's motherfucking making sense. Now I might have Ice Cube and DL mad at me. You get what I'm saying? But... I'm just saying. DL ain't, DL ain't to be saying what somebody qualified to do. Right. And you know what I'm saying? It's like whatever Ice Cube is doing, he doing it because that's what he want to do. Mm -hmm. But it don't sit well with me because you fucking with them people out in public. Well, I'll put it like this. Ice Cube, this is what I noticed Ice Cube is doing. He's not picking a side. He playing down the middle. And every real motherfucker out here know, oh, that ain't how you do that. Where you at, nigga? Who you fucking with? If I'm with a nigga and I get into it with a nigga in the street, you can't tell me, hey, man, I'm both of y'all friends. That means you his friend. You ain't both of our friends, motherfucker. Is that, what, is that what he did? Because what... So you're saying because he hasn't denounced Trump? No, I, I'm, I'm saying, saying what he did. the man said he went to these people. They told him no. So now he over here with them people. Well, he well, no, he said they came to him. Right. He said, he said he they came to him. Everybody yeah. And they, those were the first to That's respond. what motherfuckers do. Whoever is willing to work mm. with our cause. Go right. to the strip club. Go to the strip club. Whoever coming with it, that's who the bitch going to go to. Am I wrong? At the strip club, whoever coming with it, even if you her favorite customer, she going to be like, look, I got to go get this. 
I got to go get this bag over here. This motherfucker, he's spinning good. Right. And the motherfucking favorite cover to my gonna understand because why? He want the pussy. Mm -hmm. The fuck? That's all I'm saying, man. This ain't no motherfucking, I'm gonna be on everybody motherfucking side shit. Ain't right. no motherfucking everybody motherfucking side shit. And I'm smart enough not to tell nobody what they not qualified to do. And especially a man of Cube's accomplishments. But did he say Kaepernick wasn't qualified to uh, talk about what he stood up for? Yeah. You didn't come out and say Kaepernick wasn't qualified. Yeah. So all Cube is doing is an exact replica of what Cap did, which is standing up. Trying to talk to these politicians. Shut up and dribble the ball. Yeah, that's he basically, did the same thing with that's that white basically lady did. what DL is doing to Q. And I Shut up and bust a rhyme. I wanted to do it. DL know he did that. You get what I'm saying? Right. Maybe, ain't, maybe he ain't around well, no Q, motherfucking Q, nigga that's going to yeah. tell him that. Because well, DL got power, man. Right. And motherfuckers around DL ain't finna tell DL what the fuck is up. Now, I'm, I personally like DL Hughley, man. The last thing I want is for DL Hughley to be mad at me over this shit. But... Nigga, I'm sitting up here talking this shit on the radio, nigga. And as soon as I heard that shit, I'm like, cool out, dog. You can't tell that man what he qualified exactly to do. Right. God damn it. But nigga. Q told him. He sure told him. That makes sense. But what did Q said. say? What I just read. He to gave you. the middle what finger. No, no, no. What he said about, the, about, about people doing podcasts and things like that, where are your degrees on, you know what I'm saying? I saw a real nigga on TV today. He that fighter from Russia, Khabib Medov or something like that. Where Stephen A. Smith sucker ass asked him a question. He shut that goofy ass nigga down with some real nigga shit like ain't nobody <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> Stephen A. He made Stephen A. Smith look stupid on that show. That first take show, <laughs> nigga, I was at the crib dying. Stephen A. Smith came with that. Oh, woo, 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 woo. That motherfucker said, I'm so real, I ain't gonna even talk about the shit. Stephen A. Smith didn't even know what to say after that. I ain't said it the exact same way he said it, but that Russian motherfucker who seems to be a man of principle, mm -hmm. am I right? Mm -hmm. Have we ever seen him do some sucker shit? Mm -hmm. We seen him motherfucker try to ride out on Conor McGregor them for motherfucking talking all that shit and throwing that thing at the bus and all that shit, enough was enough. Mm -hmm. Here's a man of principle, man. If you a man of principles like that, you can't even talk to them motherfuckers like Stephen A. Smith because you ain't gonna do them and check the shit out of them. So do you think Cube is a man of principles? No. We called Don Lemon out. I, I think I he think is. Cube ain't no joke. He don't say a whole bunch of stupid shit. But in this particular situation, it's just like when you think of all of the shit Jim Brown did. Jim Brown is a freedom fighter for the people right. as a career person. But he fucking with Trump now. Right. So what I'm going to say, if I see Jim Brown, right. I'm going to be like, hey, what's up, bro? So Keep it moving. So what would you, what, so Corey, <laughs> you know what, what I'm you, saying? So what would you have thought if he hadn't gone to Trump and them and waited and went and talked and presented this to Biden's camp? Would you feel the same way? Well, this is what I'm saying. Whatever Ice Cube is trying to get done, he trying to get his politics done. He trying to be on that side of the game. I understand that. I'm glad that Ice Cube mm -hmm. is going to be one of them guys or trying to be one of them guys on that side of the Talking game. Out, trying to get involved. We got, we, look, in the army, man, we got black people in the army that go and invade other countries with people who, don't, who ain't done nothing to them. But when it really boiled down to it, when them motherfuckers declare war against all us, they family that's back at home, them motherfuckers going to have to make a decision. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't do what the mm -hmm. enemy says forever because you would just have to be like, fuck your people all together, like Terry Crews seemed to be. So where he get felt on by a motherfucker and then play it off like he don't know what's happening. <laughs> Come on, man. We from the motherfucking streets. You a big swole motherfucker. If a nigga walking up to you trying to grab your motherfucking sack in public, you fuck with that nigga like that. Come on, man. So. I, I would just say the very, the very fact that, on, that, that Cube, and, and, and I believe his intent was right, mm -hmm. the very fact that he's got to go to the devil on our behalf, it's just, it's, it just, it's really shows us it just how bad mm -hmm. and how fucked up we are as a group. Everybody 
That's I believe that what you just said. That to me, that is the the hard part. It shows the part. predicament we in. Right. It just shows the predicament. Well, you got to go to the enemy. That when you got to go to the enemy to cut a deal, that just shows you where you are as a people. There's motherfuckers who love us, Corey, but there's also motherfuckers who loathe us. And the most vociferous of those who loathe us, the in other words, the loudest motherfuckers be the mouths of our own people talking down on us. It's a motherfucker up there saying, where your plan, Corey? Let me tell you something. I have access to the people. This is a nigga that's have, in the kitchen look, right now I know, warming up some top I have, ramen. I have access to people <laughs> who can write a plan to ease your mind. How about that? Because that's what you need, right? You need somebody to be like, here's a plan. Oh, no, are they going to listen? Are they even going to listen? Then they're going to have something else to say. Yeah, but your plan ain't got this in it. You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up, nigga. I got oregano in my plan. Stop using up your girl electricity. She worked oh, hard, my nigga. God. It's always something, see? It's always your something. Get your goof ass out of here, nigga. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't expect everybody to be on my side. And, and that's the thing about me. I don't care if people are not on my side. I don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was mad when I found out certain people was blocked from the chat room, because motherfuckers didn't like what they said. Motherfuckers with no power at all, except for the power they declared, oh, I don't like what they said. Somebody in the chat room <laughs> said, Zoe is biracial. Wait, what? <laughs> they said what? They said Zoe biracial. He, he's designed well, he to be on both sides. Oh, <laughs> First off, I bitch you, ass they nigga. They are something else. My daddy blacker than this table, and my mama black too, nigga. She not biracial, by the way. She got two black parents. But you wouldn't know that. You're a, you're a motherfucker watching a goddamn YouTube channel, nigga. Oh, oh my nigga, Gooch sent me that shit with that Khabib Meadow shit. Whole ass motherfucker. He said it to my face. I beat the shit out of you in front of your mama, nigga. Uh-oh. But you don't know who that is, though. I don't give a fuck who <laughs> that is. You know, that's the He's point, though. I don't give a fuck <laughs> who that is. No, I feel you, though. I don't I give a fuck you. who that is. Speak on it to me, nigga. Oh, shoot. It's going down. Bitch ass, nigga. Oh, <laughs> damn. I mean, like. The, the person who said I don't have a plan, I'm just saying to yeah, you, bro, I, I get a plan if that's what make you happy. But what is my plan going to do? My plan, my, the way I feel about everything is this. We are going to kiss ass until it jump off. Because it's going to jump off, mm. motherfucker. But uh, we need it's to slap up a jump few of these whole ass niggas, though. And when it jump get off. these niggas straight. When it jump off, they already know my side. They know who I am. All you motherfuckers who down the middle, y'all safe. Y'all will be kept as pets. Congratulations, you live longer. Congratulations. You live longer than me. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to go out quicker than I have to, but for some shit, goddammit, fuck it. I can't ride with that bullshit. I've been on this planet too long to still be kissing ass and acting like I don't know. Motherfucker, I have found out that we are targets. Mm. And every motherfucker Agreed. who mm -hmm. think that they finna get something from them people. It's some niggas who motherfucking got a whole bunch of them bullshit ass um, um, loan cards or whatever. Oh, I was just gonna oh. talk about What they do with them niggas? Oh. It's a cold <laughs> world, nigga. Oh, right. It ain't even finna be no more cash money, dog. They got electronic oh. currency they finna implement. Oh. And every hustle we get is gonna have to be Reissue, re. We gonna have to reevaluate how we get our hustle on out here. Oh, so you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, man. It ain't. It ain't me knocking. It ain't me knocking. Knocking Ice Cube like, oh fuck that nigga. He ain't shit. That ain't how I feel. What I do want Ice Cube to know is, my nigga, you you, you can't dance around that shit with a nigga like me. Cause I got respect for you, you got like a motherfucker, against, you got but the program, you thing. can't. No, nah, nigga, hell no. Nah. I don't know what the fuck you doing. Maybe you got a plan though. Maybe you got some shit in your pocket I don't know about. I could listen to that from him, mm. but on the surface, man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. <laughs> Come on, die. You talking to you? Who you talking to, man? You talking to them people, the goofy ass motherfuckers who? Who think motherfucking putting on a mask for eight hours a day at a motherfucking Taco Bell is the shit? Nigga, fuck that shit. I'm saying, I say what I said about putting on a mask all day for, at Taco Bell is, I'm saying like, 
There's no way I could do that. I'd rather rob a motherfucker. <laughs> I'd rather knock a motherfucker upside the head. Not like I'm going to do that because I ain't living like that. I'll find another <laughs> way. But, man, look, I'm not an average motherfucker. So what the fuck? That's why, that's why you don't get me with all the shit I say. And it's okay. I still fuck with you, nigga, even if you don't like me. As long as you ain't disrespectful when you see me. <laughs> if you disrespectful when you see me, that scare me. <laughs> and I'm saying like you want to see a scared right? I don't want to be. Don't make me scared of you, my nigga. We can oh we can God. agree to disagree, but mouth will come out. That bite will happen. Right? Don't don't scare me, my nigga. <laughs> Shit. God, what? Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah. We got deep. We got deep right, on this yeah. shit, man. I, I love it, man. Shit, we got to do it from time to time. We got to get this part of the show in. God damn it! This is the Ice Cube part of the show. <laughs> This is D's Loose Talk, talk About, about Bullshit. Hi, O'Shea. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, speaking of EDD cards, California Employment Development Department here, anyway, uh, got to watch it, guys. If you're going to you're gonna be crooked and you're going to take advantage of the system, you got to be careful. So the recent bust is uh, of a rapper. Called, his real name is Fontrell Antonio Baines, 31, it's all on the news. Um, his stage name is Newt Bizzle. You know what, who's laughing over there, Niall? <laughs> anyway, he was arrested after applying for more than 1.2 million in jobless benefits and using stolen identities in a scheme to fraudulently obtain unemployment insurance benefits under the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Care Act. Anyway, he's originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but now resides in the Hollywood Hills here in California. Uh, he was allegedly exploiting the pandemic unemployment assistance on video. So he, you could even look up the video right now. He actually says exactly what he was doing, like the whole move on it. So he's basically bragging. They're holding up. They're even holding up the real mail. If you've paused it, you could even but see. People the, don't believe this is the police. This is the police. It's you got time. the police it's in big. your pocket, nigga. <laughs> right. You really do. You, yeah. <laughs> Did yeah. you see that app they added where it could let you know if you're... Uh, the coronavirus positive or negative? They, ah, they, they got have, an app to let you know on the phone. I don't think it's an app. It's in the phone. It's in the settings. Huh? Like it lets you, you, you gotta turn this it? bitch off or you, some you shit. Like, on it? Yeah, because this is or, 5G, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Or this this ain't a 5G phone, but they got 5G phones out now. Okay, motherfucker, mm -hmm. go buy that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. you, when you buy it, you might well say, yeah, I got corona. Well, Damn anyway, shit. anyway, he was just busted. He got caught with 92 debit cards. Might have been one of yours if anybody has any of them missing that didn't show up in their mail. So he's he's gonna he's gonna get some time. They arrested him in Las Vegas um, on the 23rd, and they actually found him at that moment with eight debit cards on him of other people's names. So everything you swipe, gentlemen, I want all the people who ain't got caught yet to know. Yes. Everything you swipe is a tracking device. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They even have tracking devices and money if you have enough of it in your pocket at one time. Mm. Mm. So if you don't know this, understand, you ain't ahead of them. Them motherfuckers ahead of you. Right. That's why motherfuckers submit, because they be like, fuck it, well, what we gonna do? The motherfuckers gonna be like, well, goddammit, you gonna be, <laughs> you gonna be part of us? You gonna be part of that? Wow. What that say? Exposure notifications using technology to help public health authorities fight COVID-19. See the Apple, the phone, it's all there. Oh, There's an that. app that tells you if you it's have... It's not an app. It's in the bitch. I don't understand. Don't in the settings. In the but settings. What, if you press the phone, they know if you got COVID. Or if you're in the environment of where it's at. That is so what? fucking that hilarious. That doesn't make sense. Because you know what environment where it is? 5G, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas motherfucker out here looking for some fucking sickness that's identifiable. No, motherfucker, the sickness is back in the day you couldn't put motherfucking Bluetooth headphones to your head. Well, now you ain't got to put it to your head. If you got one of these motherfuckers in your hands. Here it is right here. Public health authorities around the world are building apps that use exposure notification systems to help their contact tracing efforts. That's what they say. They want to know where you are, motherfucker. They want to know if you're mm -hmm. over there with my brothers in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> so it That's says, what they got this shit <laughs> on Android, you can find the app for your area, if available, on Google Play. Android users 
uh, will also receive a notification from the Play Store if their state has made exposure notifications available. Why they ain't got that for STDs? You know what? <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch, you just be there. Your, you fucking, no, just... Your phone was just buzzing like crazy, Corey, see? <laughs> anyway, moving on. So here we go. Um, so in Nigeria, Lagos, the, go. the governor Can't of Nigeria's uh, Kaduna state has just signed a law saying that men convicted of rape will face surgical castration immediately. Oh, wow. And anyone, yeah, just passed. And anyone raping a child under the age of 14 will face the death penalty instantly. Nasir mm. Ahmad, pardon me if I pronounce this wrong, Ahmad El Rufa says the drastic penalties are required to help further protect children from the serious crime. Mm. So they just signed it off. It's like, ugh. Well, don't you know go. what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, any motherfucker who will fuck with a child, yeah, you, true. You, 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 you fucking up, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, it's like, damn. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be accused of that shit. Not there. The way these motherfuckers shit in Africa, them bitches be fucking up too. Them bitches all got that skin lightning cream on. So if it's a whole motherfucking continent where they done ran out of the skin lightning cream, goddamn it, oh, that means them bitches ain't shit either. So now they're going to children. <laughs> now that's terrible. Fuck you talking about? That used to be the motherland where you go to get the good shit. But this bitches <laughs> over there like, uh, don't want to look like that anymore. <laughs> don't want to look like Corey. I'm a Kardashian. <laughs> I'm about to get a French bulldog. <laughs> Get your goof ass out of here, bitch. Put that shit on your feet, too. You can't be light skinned in the neck and head. Well, the feet, feet the, look like goddamn. No, but the bottom of the foot is usually. Sydney Portier feet, than bitch. You can't have that. Like the bottom of your foot is Craig color. What is that? The very bottom of the your foot. The bottom of your foot is you Craig color. You mean the color. bottom of a foot? Oh. It's always lighter, the sole of your foot. He said it's Craig color. <laughs> right now, I'm saying it, somebody of Corey's color, the bottom of his foot is going to be Craig. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look. Why is that? I know, isn't that interesting? <laughs> well, like your palms. It's always going to be lighter. Let me see your palms. Uh-oh, oh, look. That's, that's Zoe color. <laughs> I, got, I got Zoe hands. Is that what you said? <laughs> All right, so look. Netflix just released the trailer. <laughs> No, your elbows are dark, though, Corey. <laughs> Netflix just released the trailer for Chadwick Boseman's final movie. Um, he plays opposite Viola Davis in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. It looks good. It comes out December. It still what is has. It about? Uh, it's about a uh, Denzel Washington is the uh, director. Um, it's Who's about Viola Davis. Hold on. From is that the lady from the hill? Fences. With the yeah, and the from nose? fences. Yes. Yeah, don't, 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 don't. Yeah. Oh God. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and earlier this month, his oh, his bitch. second to his last film, uh, hey, The Five Bloods, uh. aired as well. That's the one by um, Spike Lee. Anyway, so that's <laughs> um, this will be his very last movie that he filmed. Um, comes out in December on Netflix. I remember when Viola Davis was so proud that she was in that movie with Liam ne ne Neeson. Oh, Neeson, and and he. Um, they talked about the like kissing scene. Kill those niggers. Right. <laughs> she was like, he kissed me even though he saw my boogers. Glenn Turnman is in this movie. You know who Glenn Turnman is. Who's Glenn Turnman? That older black man. That guy, that brother, actor. Oh, that's yeah. the brother from uh, Cooley High. There you go. He's in, he's in it. Coleman, Domingo. There's a couple of people in it. But anyway, it looks really good. Comes out in December. It's kind of sad, too, though, because he's, you know, he's no longer with us. Uh, and um, go Dodgers. The World Series just started tonight. Who won that game? Dodgers. And then tomorrow <sighs> night's the next game. Shut up. What do you mean? <laughs> what? I mean, I'm not against the Dodgers, uh -huh. but if they lose again, I wouldn't be able to talk shit. Oh, that would be so great for L.A., though. Can you imagine if they won it, too? Yeah. And then the Lakers, that would be great. That would be great. Anyway, I'm hoping that they win. Yeah. So they won tonight. Mm. Congratulations, they won. Yep, and they play again tomorrow. Um, so everybody's talking about... Um, Steph Curry, right now defending his wife, but I, I don't even, I don't know how I feel oh, about this brother. One. So what happened was he, she posted up on her Instagram, and you know, you're always going to have trolls. She I mean, Jada Pickett. You know what? I can't, can't number another Jada Pickett. I cannot with you. Anyway, she posted up a picture of herself with him, they're driving in a car, what have you, but she, to me, I think she was playing, she, of course she was playing around, but she was trying out like a blonde wig. And her eyes look kind of light and everything. She almost kind of looks like a, one of the 
what is it, Khloe Kardashian, when she's all dolled up, like fixed up where it looks, she doesn't even look like herself. Light hair, light eyes, and she was just having fun, she claimed. Anyway, they ate her up, bunch of trolls. A cabbage patch doll looking at You know what, head. a bunch of what trolls. What an undemanding male, this <laughs> <laughs> Steph Curry. Is. And so now everybody's, and, and now you've got people, of course, of both sides going, oh God, like that he shouldn't have, but. She tried so hard. But she stepped up for her. So people are like, you've got both sides. He always sides. step up for her. You think so? Does but they, anyway. they always disrespect him, his wife and his daughter. Watch his daughter around him. It's the same shit. It trickles down from the mom. Just watch her when she around him. I bet he won't have her up there at no motherfucking press conference now because now she old enough to be like, I don't feel like sitting through this shit. <laughs> I can't. I'm just saying. Oh, damn. Now he's got, they got like three kids, That's what right? happens when you don't never jump on your kids. All you got to do is jump on your kids two, three times. They will never try you again. And you got to get them while they little. Now, what you say? Anyway. Boy, what would what, your proud father say on that shit? Boy, I'll beat the living cowboy. Get out your ass. <laughs> so anyway, you know, people were giving her a hard time. And Steph Curry went on there and said, look, you beautiful baby, and don't you let anybody tell you differently, okay? You do you, boo-boo. Yeah, that motherfucker ain't showing the other emails. Nigga, we had your bitch over here smoking weed <laughs> with this dick up. up. And a nook. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga, I know you can't tame that bitch, Steph. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Shoot your jump shots and prepare for divorce, goddammit. Because when your fame is gone, goddammit, that monkey in the game. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> I know it hurt, but that's the truth. Look at her behavior. Look at her behavior. She just be like, I got to do some fuck shit. Let me do some fuck shit. <laughs> I need let to me, be as famous me, as you. Let, let me say some <laughs> fuck shit. And I got this motherfucking nigga who ain't got caught up in no bullshit or nothing. Oh, I ain't, you ain't heard Steph no, name and no I, bullshit I at all. Them. Yeah. He's in fact, saying, they so bad they lames. Cause I just found out oh, what they gotta the, be lames to be. What nice. the younger brother he trying to fight Paul George Who? over that shit? You don't know. Steph Curry? No, his oh. brother. Oh well, that's his brother. It ain't Steph. Who married Paul George? Ex bust down. Oh no. AKA Doc Rivers' daughter. But what <sighs> they gotta do with Steph? That's just Steph his Curry brother. brother was at war with Paul George over the shit. Lord. That's why Paul George had to put him out the playoffs so he could spend more time with her. Oh. Oh. Go home to my old bro, your new bro, <laughs> nigga. That's why I couldn't play. Them oh. niggas be mad at me. Nigga, who you talking about? I know you ain't talking shit, nigga. <laughs> Where are our bitch, nigga? Anyway, uh, so that was it. Um, also, the new uh, hoodie came out. If you want to tell them what it is. I, it's up in the store. I'll post on the Instagram. Cause, uh, what is that, D? It's a blue, it's a nice navy hoodie, and it says COVID-19 is a mislead. Radio spectrum radiation, a.k.a. 5G, is the real killer. Look and, and check gonna, it out. It's online, 5150. Yeah, it is. It's in the store. Fuck and with I'm, me. I'll we post it up We coming with 5150 on kids gear, too. I yeah, kids 50, gear. That's right. The kids babies, gear. man. For the, the holiday. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. if, you, if you buy a 5150 kids sweatshirt, it should be on... What? What, what do you think we can get it 5150 Big Cartel at Big Cartel, the store? You know what I'm saying? When the kids clothes are going to be ready. Oh, hopefully by next week because okay. we're doing that other one. We're finishing Okay, hopefully by kids. next week, yeah. goddammit. We're going to have the 5150 kids um, sweatshirts on. Very colorful. Yeah, cute. I don't have 5150 kids. Don't be mad at me, Steph, goddammit. What about for be toddlers? Be mad at your bitch. You Check your bitch, to Steph's nigga. Kids. We'll send one to Steph's kids. Right. Because she is 5150, the little girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, I mean, <laughs> she was a terror at the press conferences. <laughs> what about for toddlers? Y'all going to have some toddler gear? No, they, ain't, they might not make it. They got to at no. least be, <laughs> oh, they gotta be in the oh, world oh. for a couple of years. Oh, 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 wow. They got to be in the world. Proof, <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked <laughs> up. <Anyway. laughs> oh, uh, Corey, somebody say Corey is not a failed comedian. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not. Oh, hey, thank you, brother. <laughs> anyway, we are going to take a quick break. And you know what? I got a topic I want to talk about when we come back. Uh -oh. Break ain't going to be that long, but okay. I got a topic I want to talk about. Go, it's okay. going to be very interesting to hear what Zoe and Dee and my man Marcus has to say about oh, it. 5150, we'll be right back, motherfucker. Marcus. <laughs>
You. 51 motherfucker, 50 in the motherfucker house. Motherfucker, we ain't doing no motherfucking song because we ain't motherfucking feeling it. Even though that beat by X was cool, that looked Halloween He type had a beat. few of them, yeah. yeah. Met X in Virginia Beach. X is cold, dog. X light skinned. Nigga, I never thought he'd be a light skinned oh, nigga. Oh, like, so light skinned yeah. nigga can't make beats. Right, I ain't know that. I ain't know X was that raw and light skinned and shit. <laughs> oh, my Lord. We got Marcus has joined the show, goddammit. Got the NFL player face, goddammit. The horse rider height in this bitch. <laughs> Marcus got a head like he about six five though. <laughs> Fuck you. I got the I, I got the I stole your bitch face. Uh -oh. you, you stole the bitch. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> the bitches that fuck with you, nigga. Anyway, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. Arkansas represented yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah. God damn it, still got trues and vogues on a minivan out there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I got a question. I was I was watching on the internet something happened, mm -hmm. and I want to ask all y'all this because I think it's very important. I saw Godfrey. He was on the internet, and brother he, Godfrey. And he was talking to this one broad, right? I don't know who the broad was, but she happened to say something um, negative about somebody we all know, oh. mm -hmm. a friend of the program. Mm -hmm. I ain't even gonna say who. But I could tell Godfrey was caught off guard when she said it. Hmm. It was at an interview at his podcast or something? Or? Well, I don't know if it was an interview. It was just Godfrey was on the internet with this one girl, and the girl was talking bad about somebody. Mm. On this show? Not somebody on this or show. One of the brothers that know. we deal with, though. One right. of the brothers we okay. deal with. Yes, right. yes. Okay. So I just want to ask y'all, what is the proper protocol when someone says a person you know is a bad guy? But you might not know him to be a bad guy. So what do you do if somebody be like, oh, that motherfucker, he ain't shit. When, like, you're on, when you're on the spot like that, how do you play I've that? You want to go first, D? I've had stuff like that happen, and I'll just go, oof, well, you know what? Hey, uh, you can't talk like that about, especially if the person's like close to me or they're good to me. I'll be like, you, I can't let you do that. So whatever you guys, oh. And I've had people go, oh, okay, it's like that. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, okay. And they just like back away because I, I, I just can't do that. You might. So you pick a side. Well, no, but if that's my person, if, that, if I'm cool with that person, I just don't even want to hear it. I'm like, mm. I don't know that person like that at all. So whatever you got to say, I can't even let you tell me what it is that may have happened. I don't know them like that. And so I that's me. You pick a side, and that's some G shit if you ask mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But, but I'm just saying, not I've everybody happen, does that. Saying, yeah. <laughs> Man, if you saying somebody ain't shit, and you got streaks in your draws. It's, it's really problematic. Everybody's a work in progress, and everybody got crumbs in their draws. Always trying to point out somebody ain't shit. But it's usually a motherfucker who ain't shit, ain't doing shit, ain't about shit, ain't going nowhere. Okay, fuck it. That's put the, the bitch name that up there. Me, Amanda. Man. Who is Amanda Seals? Oh, well, who is she talking about? I like her. Who is know, she? She's a, um, she used to be a radio personality, and she... Uh, got into the game as an actress now and a comedian. She does stand-up stuff. I actually like Amanda Seals. I mean, I don't know what the story is behind all that. I don't know who she was. So that's the I, person who said somebody what, that we deal saying. with on yeah. this show. The bitch yeah. said, the bitch tried to act like the brother Tariq that she was a bad guy. Oh. I don't know her. I don't know the lady. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But she just I didn't even like, see the clip. I so I don't know what the clip she, was she about. Just was like, oh, no. Uh, he's bad. Woo, 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 uh -oh. woo. Well, see, I, I don't know. That's why I was like, damn, what do you do when somebody say something about somebody that you don't know like that to be the bad person, and they say that? You just stuck. I mean, I, I, mean, I respect what you said, D. How they do it in Arkansas, Marcus? Hey, man, listen, if that's my partner, I don't care about nothing you talking about, man. That's my partner. You hear me? But what if they're not listen. your partner? What if they're just like associate, like you know them through business or like a show like that? Because people don't have to, just because we're on a show, I mean, they're, they're partner. So like if it's just somebody you know, you work with, would you still say, or would you go, well, what'd they do? What if somebody was talking about Nael and shit, say they... Oh, hell no. <laughs> young Nael over there. Hey, man, listen. I'm fishing in a sewer or something. Listen, that's between y'all Nael. Let's eat somebody Nael fucking little kids and some weird shit like that. <laughs> then I'm like, hold up now. God damn what did Nael do? <laughs> <laughs> Where was he? <laughs> you got to start asking those questions in that accent, this motherfucker. What did Nael do? He touched uh, a little boy. 
Yes, even then. So I don't, she she has been one to be pretty frank on some stuff. She does come. She does speak her mind. She's one of those. Somebody said Tariq be on her head. He be calling her out on certain shit. Oh. Oh. A lot of people don't like her. So she probably I mad. Mean, she probably she's mad like at Tariq. A, she's, okay. She talks a lot of stuff. Like she yeah. she don't she don't she don't step, step back. Like somebody well, should send me the clip me so I can see it. Somebody shitting on somebody. I know to be like, damn, what happened? And she's yeah. not afraid to say what what happened. Did she talk? Did elaborate on it? I don't remember what she said. Uh, so I don't what know. Happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I didn't I'm know. saying like I didn't really see no see definition that. of what happened. Uh. But what I'm saying is I measure shit by saying, damn, what happened though? Yeah. No. Yeah. People who don't really like to talk about what happened, but will tell you somebody ain't shit, that make me feel like, uh, you ain't saying anything. You ain't talking mm. about your shit. Or why you get what I'm saying? Yeah. What about mm. your shit? What happened? That's why I love to say, damn, what happened? I'm gonna have to check that out though, but I mean, I don't know. I don't now, know. if it's one of my homies who I fuck with on some everyday shit, I'll call a motherfucker while you talking shit about him. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, now say that again. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's if it's one of my motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I'm running with a man day partner. He right here addressing the shit. Right. Yeah. Now, now tell me what you said again. Go ahead. Tell him that you right. think this about him or said this about him because I don't believe it. Right. Because that's what happens is if somebody, you were close to somebody, you know him very well, you, if one of them, you're just not, for one, you're just not going to believe it. She You'll be like, no, I'm not my dude. She hating the fact black men are... Um, damn, go back down that. a little bit. It little says bit. she hating the fact. Oh, it's going up. Because I don't know nothing about her. She, uh, she was okay, a stop. black man mis uh, sexually harassing her, or like, you know. Okay. Okay. But it turned out to not be true. Oh. Did it? Oh, the, the, oh, I heard about this. Well, now the you doctor. a funky bitch. I can say <laughs> it with no hesitation. I don't even talk to funky bitches like that. If I'm talking to a funky hey, bitch man. like that, it's, look, I need you to say on speaker or text, I can have a pussy because I don't want you to be acting like no. nothing else. See, and I don't, see, I don't like play. funky yeah. bitches that's, like that's that. That's the football player's name, Myron Roll. The brother was a Rhodes Scholar, went to Florida State, Ooh. then to Harvard. He's a doctor now. He that's was, who she accused? Oh, he, wow. I, I, I think that's that's what they're saying right here oh, in the chat. That's a phone oh, call. she oh, uh, but she seemed like a type of bit like that though, boy. She, she acted like that. That's what I'm saying. You she, heard her, you. I, only time I heard her talk is when she was on some live chat. Man, see, look, I think I see. I remember I had phone. I think I met her in the Uber when I used to drive Uber and shit. I picked up one you day. Might, you're thinking of the scene and in insecure. She acts in insecure. No, I ain't no. The whole live out here? I'm dead ass. No. She I live out here? Mm, I'm when she's acting, I think. Who? Oh, Amanda, I'm, I'm yes, she live out here. <laughs> When Mark she, is when, no. When I picked up an Uber. When she's acting, but she lives in, in New York. I just saw a recent she, interview. You don't know her, D. I didn't say I did. <laughs> I said I liked her. I didn't say I know her. No, I was saying, but no, I was just talking shit because you said. No, because I really there it is. Saw, right. You said she lives she in cool. New York as, as, as if you know. No. Somebody hit me up. I saw an interview with her. That's all I'm saying. It's a, right. recent, a recent interview where she said. Whoever the bitch is, she blaming motherfuckers for motherfuckers trying to rape her and shit. Oh, and then the motherfucker cool. found to be innocent. That's how do, not you know cool. how hard it is to get found innocent? You put a jacket on a motherfucker back and anybody even motherfucker touch a motherfucker monkey. Too cool in person, but you don't Steph Curry, she she Steph Curry rough, wife though. acting ass out of here. What happened? But that's all I knew her of. You yeah, know what I'm Dr. saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. Byron I like her stand up and I like her acting. A neurologist who got married a few months ago. She lied on Dr. Myron oh, Rowley. Oh, that's awful. See, I don't like that. That's terrible. Man, that's that's what they right sent me. Oh, well, see, I don't like shit like that. See, yeah. let me tell you something. I didn't have to be there. Yeah. Mm. When a nigga beat a charge like that, that means it was overwhelming evidence that it didn't happen. Because yeah. niggas don't normally beat them charges. They try to hang niggas with them charges. Mm -hmm. So this... I could be wrong. There's a chance I could be wrong, but chances are <laughs> funky bitch. I just like her acting. I like her part in Insecure, and I liked her stand up recently. So I don't. That's all. I don't I know. know if she know you, but I know she hate you. What type of bitch? I don't all know. them hoes like that hate, hate me, you, dog. Dude. Only women <laughs> like me is self confident women. Yeah. Women, women who really believe in they self, they know I ain't talking about them. Yeah. But funky. What's the definition of funky? Stinky. Stink. Must. Fucked, fucked up, screwed up. Is it funky up. with an Siri, O or a U? You say funky bitch in Korean. In Korean, you'd say. 
집에 나쁜 년. Which is an explicit term. 집에 나쁜와 집에 나쁜 년. As B. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Siri, how do you say funky bitch in Japanese? In Japanese, funky bitches. Funky naksona. Uh oh, oh yeah. that sounds like Kim Naksona. You funky Naksona ass bitch. I know it in Spanish. I speak a little Spanish, but I probably know that one. How do you say funky <laughs> bitch in Spanish, Siri? <laughs> in Spanish, you'd say, Jodete, zorra, which is an explicit term. Is that right? Well, that one needs better, oh, boy. No, Let's not speak better. That one again. Is that right? 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 I know D didn't know what that was. Yeah, that one is, yeah, I speak Spanish, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Why are you just because you don't know the I'm like a quarter, a quarter fluent. Why don't you say it in Swahili, Corey? I'm like 25% fluent in Spanish. How do you say funky bitch in Swahili, Siri? Boom, bam. I won't respond to that. Maybe they don't Siri, you a funky bitch. That's I won't respond to that. See, one time I accidentally, she was on, and it said... Cause I said, oh shit, shit, shit. And then automatically I just heard her say, that, that wasn't very nice. And I was like, what the hell? I, w I didn't even know she was on. Scary. You talking about Siri? Yes. And she said, that wasn't very nice. I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know it was on. You eavesdropping <laughs> bitch. D, you seem like you can be, have a Siri voice. Like you can do, you oh, got one of them voices. Oh, really? Yeah. See, thank you. Yeah. Siri, D, how, how you think <laughs> D got that voice? D got the um, raspy type voice. See? It's a little Martin. raspy. Say, 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 it. talk real quick, quick, D. Let me hear you. Yeah, hey. Let's see. <laughs> see. He got a raspy voice. Do it is. Me? I like my voice. It's not no little old prissy broad voice. I actually don't like that. When I'm talking to girl, I'm like, ew. Just, hey, hello. Oh my you got God. a voice like a female principal or superintendent or something. We're gonna win. <laughs> We're gonna come out in groves and get it done. D, D sound like a sexy pro. Oh, Mark, that's, that's, that's kind of sweet, Mark. She said it's sweet because she eats insects like that. Yeah. Shush. Sexy frog. That's cute. Thanks. Ribbit. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, exactly. so I want to say once again before we leave the airway. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube, I'm not against you, brother. I'm not against you, but I, I just, I, I, I have a way I word things. And the way I'm wording this is, it seems like you just playing it safe. You picking whatever side gonna fuck with your agenda. You know, it's not me. I don't, I don't hate you, man. I think you're great for black people. I think you're great for black people, for real. It's the things you've done your lifetime, Jim Brown also, the things Jim Brown has done in his lifetime, I'm just keeping it real. So like even when Jim Brown be on that Trump shit now, I just look at him as an old yeah. retired mind. It's mm. not it's okay, mm. bro. It's oh, all right. But I mm. it will mm. all be over. But you think you think after <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> That's you think you? <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on, You think man. you riding with Trump? What? I'm not oh, saying Cube is riding yeah, with Trump, but, but, but I'm I mean, saying Cube saying is trying to get what he can about a Trump. Or whoever else gonna step up. Yeah, cause I ain't, ain't that one of the motherfuckers fucking with us really anyway though. So we just like shit, nigga. We we get what we can out of it. I know that's, they that's ain't never they gave went. no relief money to Arkansas. Uh -oh, Y'all oh, flood, oh, they just oh, sent a whole oh. bunch of mops down there. They, <laughs> they were like, they'll mop it up. They strong Dang, in Arkansas. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get your big lead two tier ass. <laughs> <laughs> They'll mop it up. <laughs> I got, hey, nothing. We'll mop all this shit up. Y'all go on about y'all business. <laughs> That's terrible. Cook some chicken while we mop. Oh, damn. <laughs> I got for five while I mop. <laughs> damn it. Oh, God. I'm fucking with y'all, my uh. Arkansas niggas. You know I'm fucking with y'all. Y'all niggas do get mops in the trunk, though. Oh. <sighs> you get an Uber in, in Arkansas, they be like, shit, you need something mopped up or something before I pull up? <laughs> Holla at a nigga. Holla at a nigga. What you need? Yeah, my own mop company. Right. I got some, oh, <laughs> I got some shake and bake in the car. I cook for you. Guys. Yeah. Come holla at a nigga. Uh, nigga. Uh, <laughs> a shake and bake. 
Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, shit, Arkansas niggas who, who drive Uber got in their truck. They still sell shake and bake. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Go to Arkansas for some shake and bake, nigga. That's an Arkansas driver and Uber drop you off. What else uh, you got? God damn it. I'll do some mopping. I yeah, can make some shake and bake. Right, what God else? Damn it. What else? Got some extra light bulbs. I can change them all. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. So you ain't got to wait on them to pop and shit. You know these are all fresh. Holla at a nigga. Mm, mm. You make Arkansas sound like a third world country. Damn, I know. Damn, this Arkansas. Arkansas. Where's the city in Arkansas? Somebody say I'm wearing the uh, Popeye's company hat. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh baby. I got Popeye. They call it the Mop State. The Mop you. State. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to want you to do a commercial for them. They ain't going to want me to do no commercial. I ain't going to eat no chicken on TV. I got more pride. Well, what if they that. said we just want you to sing? It don't matter what they say. They said they go eat chicken on TV. I ain't fucking with no motherfucking Popeyes commercial. Ain't nothing they can say. What? When I saw that old man eating that sandwich and looked back and said, Yee! I was like, Hey, Sakura, we're going to give you 100, 100 G's on the spot. I'm tired of them, mate. They put Jerry Rice with a football helmet with a chicken wing right there on, on the, the thing. Face mask. Oh, Did you that's see this right. shit? Damn what Mary J. Blige sing on there? Stop. Oh, what did she sing? I don't you didn't see that was... shit? I just don't remember what she's saying. I, I just want a hot onion ring. What? No, she did not. How did I miss that one? Damn it. She didn't say that, but she oh, did say that. Yeah, Lisa Marie. Marie. I love this stuff. You don't even have onion rings. Where, what did Mary J. Blige say on her Popeye's commercial? It was fucking just oh. all. What did she say? But what if they offered you like 100 G's? Just, it, just Ain't no 100 G's going to buy me. I could get 100 G's from these bitches out here. Oh, they said it was crispy go. chicken or something. Oh, oh. Right. Crispy, crispy chicken. Crispy chicken. Oh, I really want some crispy chicken. <laughs> 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 you stupid you. bitch. What the fuck? I can see the, 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 the motherfuckers who ain't famous. Well, how the fuck Mary J. They Blige? They offered some real money. Some like she ain't paid her no real money, goddammit. Mary didn't need to do Oh, then again, it was, with, oh, it was during that time. That's what I'm saying, yeah. That was during the taxes time. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Was she hitting at that time? Was she real? No, but I'm, yeah, but she was, remember, she owed all the taxes. That's don't matter. She got saying, money. She got her ass done for them BET oh. Awards. You see, Jaru. She got what done? What? Y'all see her on them BT Awards with that ass poking out? You said, Mary ain't got no fake oh. ass. Mary ain't got no fake ass. That's her ass. Her ass built like that. And her mama had the same ass. They oh. did the two for two. They had oh twin my asses. God. Some, some places, what's that? Got the four for fours. They went in there and got the two for two. Oh. Mary gave the She was like, I want to get a two for two. I'm bringing my mama. The Mary hit a gross spurt lately. Oh, really want is some chicken piece. Mary had a gross spurt late, nigga. Yeah. You ain't gonna Come be on. talking about Mary right yeah, here. Thank like you, that, thank though. you, Marcus. <laughs> no, I thought Mary was working on her body. I thought she, yeah, yeah I thought she all natural. She all, natural. She all oh, natural. yeah. You know yeah. Sorry, Mary. Won't be no hateration. <laughs> Chicken nation. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mary. Though. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Oh, they, somebody said it was McDonald's and not Popeyes. No, Mary what? did a Popeyes. It was Popeyes. She did a Popeyes, and it was on the news. Motherfuckers was like, "What this bitch doing?" What? Somebody said she, Mary thick. Yeah, okay, if that if you think that if the, okay, let me say if that's not a fake ass, let me shut up. <laughs> we didn't say, <laughs> we didn't say shut up. God damn. Do Mary do Mary got kids? That's what I want to no, know. No, she never had children with with homeboy. Also, well, maybe might, maybe that might be. That her. might be. But her. Mary used to fuck with KC. They used to do dope. Oh, Ain't no thick dope head bitch. And she recovered. And, and when no she recovered, dope her body recovered. Wasn't, Ain't wasn't no thick dope head bitch. bitches. Dope head bitches. All dope head bitches look like aunties. You got that healthy, man. But it wasn't dope. And that ass came she out was, with it. it. It was just alcohol. Back when Mary was with KC, she was like, shit be calling me, man. It no, be calling they did me. not do dope. It was just alcohol for, on her end. No, it was, it was dope. I could have swore it was just alcohol. Why are you taking up for it, D? Because I, I love me some Mary J. Blige. Mary I'm going to fight you afterwards. You can't fight me, goddamn it. Yeah, well, you, you know, see, I ja Rule had did a commercial uh, with the, with the folk. With the, what, 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 <laughs> what commercial Ja Rule do? I'm going to shoot Corey in his pinky toe. Motherfuckers out here. 
Some local was, pizza commercial? Yeah, it was a pizza commercial. Out Ooh. here in California? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, pizza folks in the hood. What? What's a pizza? Ja I got some pizza for me. <laughs> it was a couple months ago. Pizza from New York. Right. New York. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza tastes good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm fucking with you, Ja Rule. One day Ja Rule's wife oh, was at one of my shows. And she was in the front. And I was talking shit to her. Because she had this ring on. But it was so big. I was like, that ain't no real motherfucking rock. Yeah. Well, she said, my husband's name is Ja Rule. Uh -oh. And we was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we was looking at her. She was cute, though. Yeah. But I still, it, the ring, was, the rock was so gorilla. Yeah. I was like, ain't no nigga spit yeah. that type of cash yeah. on no motherfucking diamond. It's Why she FaceTime that nigga? Uh -oh. Ja Rule, we was like, damn, get up, Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> we was at the show, nigga. That's what you get. Oh, that's what well, you we was get. up in the Palisades. This is that we got up? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Niggas uh -oh. always throw salt. This oh, after you get out. Marcus. This when he came on? Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. That's not nice. <laughs> It's murder. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, Corey. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. Mary J. Blige with Whitney. No, Whitney was a true oh, dope fan. Oh, yeah, she was just... That bitch was out there bad. God mm -hmm. rest her soul. That's true. That okay. night she got killed and shit, she was trying to God. fight that little bitch over Ray J. Now, that was some funny yeah, shit. Yeah, that was terrible. That bitch was out there, what's up, bitch? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> No. That's funny. <laughs> Why? Did you see the shit? No. Yes, you didn't see that shit the no. night that she at the, died? At the, at, the, at the party. I did before. not at the, see it. After the Grammy no. party. It was the night before. Because what did she oh, do? The night before. Yeah, she right. passed the night before. Oh, yeah. she was at this party off the chain. And they got in a... Like, Grown-ass woman out there trying to fight this young girl. Ray What's J was her fucking. name? That actress girl that was dating. The singer. The other singer. She's a... She's a singer? Yeah, but she's more wow. small time, of course. Yeah. You say she's a small time singer, D? Compared to Whitney, yes. Way to clean that up, D. Great job. What? Got some thighs in my hand. What'd you say? How did you hear? I hear, boy. I missed the part where they said she she was with Ray J. Stacy Francis. Stacy Francis. She was in one of those contests that year. She was. Whitney was, was like, trying to fight that bitch. Yeah, and it was like a singing. Whitney had that crackhead arm. Whatever, she was yeah. like, "Bitch, I'll squeeze the shit out your ass. Don't make me close one more door." Oh, yeah, see, yeah. Rest in that's peace, Whitney. Right. That, that's true, rest in peace. We miss you, Whitney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna say I miss you, Whitney, but Wait, I, rest in peace, God damn it, we he don't want to I ain't gonna say I miss you. Man, y'all don't know, Whitney, Whitney's, Whitney Houston was off the motherfucking chain, man. <laughs> My homeboy was working security at the motherfucking Uptown Comedy Club in Atlanta, and Whitney came there. See, Bobby chill. Bobby got that type of high where he just like this. He like... He chill. When you be in that motherfucker like do 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 She a heifer. She be like the motherfucking break dance scene in B Street. She a heifer. Break dancing. She was really. She was really. I like Whitney. Revenge. Do 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 do. Now Whitney was off the motherfucking chain. This nigga crazy. She was crazy than a motherfucker, man. Uh, my nigga Skull was telling me, man, man, this bitch ain't out here. I, I had to walk up to Bobby and tell him, hey, man, we gonna have to put your broad out. <laughs> she was heckling? Yeah, you know, niggas got respect for Bobby. Bobby is, anybody, I don't never hear no bullshit about Bobby. No, Bobby be representing. You know he wears all our shirts and stuff. It's Bobby is a, is a mellow, cool dude. He wears this all the 50 shirts. I'm making all jokes. Better, I'm yeah. making okay. jokes, but I'm saying, Whitney was off the motherfucking meat rack, nigga. Motherfuckers is putting all dope songs in nah, it. Dope yeah, Somebody just put white lines oh, in Oh, no. Hustler. Uh, Word, I pulled a trigger long. You stupid. You so stupid. No, 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 what was you at when I.T. Yeah, was like that, D? You was just like, run it back. Let me hear it. That's good, babe. Yeah. I still have all those words. <laughs> I have all the papers. Yeah. D, were you in there coaching and cheering? No. When he was <laughs> no, but I would hear it afterwards. Okay, you really know the song? Oh, man. Finish this. 19. 
Nineteen. I got a fifty thousand dollar car. Thought it was ring. No. Oh, you don't know the shit. I know it better than you. <laughs> Who says it like that? Nineteen. Oh. I, I, okay, okay, I'll put you on the spot. What kind of, spot. Kind of, What's your favorite uh, iced tea record? <laughs> that's one of them. Huh? That's one of them. Well, somebody Hyrule said, is, is cocaine not Hyrule lemonhead? Is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, did you just is. ask Dee what is her favorite no, iced tea? I just said it. You a dirty motherfucker. No, no I just See, said everybody it. be thinking I'm a dirty motherfucker. What, what is it, Dee? I say, it was High Rollers, and that is a drug dealer. High song, Rollers. Yeah. And and lethal weapons the mind. I didn't say what he was pulling off when he when y'all broke up. We said your favorite song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a joke. Get it? Wow. High roller. I'm high rolling. Oh brother. Well, that Dude, is still my shit. son's dad. No, Don't be funny. mad because I chose. We well joke. For my... We Don't be mad because I chose well for my kid. Mm. Your son what? That's my son's dad. I'm just oh, saying. Oh. I don't, you know, I don't... How old is? Twenty eight. Oh okay. My favorite was New Jack Hustles. Oh, that's all I gotta say. My son? Oh, you don't think so? Okay, don't go there, Marcus. Th that was my I don't favorite. know why she put little Ice on the spot. Little Ice a cool dude. Yeah, he but if you have, if you had him good training, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. But coming out the street, I'm a bad dad. We ain't talking shit like with uh, Venom, goddammit. And little Ice ain't kicking nobody ass over here. Oh, you, Corey? <laughs> yes, please. Corey, come on. It, unless you got him in that chokehold or what have you, come on one switch. Hey, little he ice. He's a black. Bring it. Watch this, little ice. He's a. Ooh. Now do something. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Oh, hell, 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 fine, brimstone deal. We come on. fucking with me. What you say, Marcus? Go out, hell, fine, brimstone deal. We come fucking with me. That's an Arkansas me. slang for I'll translate. fight back. He's the gonna devil. <laughs> hell, fine, <laughs> brimstone. We come over here. See the devil. Why I put that mop in the trunk and fight that little. <laughs> Fry him up and shake him, baby. No. Eat California. that nigga for dinner. Marcus, you don't want to mess with No, little yet. Ice, little Ice, no, man, cool. I'm That's just, just mama being like that. I'm just listening. Hey, you haven't met little Ice? No, he Look, I's mad cool, dog. He a good oh, dude. He yes, a good he dude. Is. Yes, he is. But I don't love Little I don't love Little I. And I believe he do know some martial arts. Well, not you know even the martial saying? arts. We live in Cali. He got some, you know, we got our stuff. Oh, right. you got the mob. You oh, get really? the mob. Right. Not, not say even, that. Not even the mob. Shit, don't he's say got. Beat everybody ass up here. No, not be. I just on. said he, we got our things. We got ourselves. So covered. is the elbow king. But she don't know I know a little martial arts myself, though. Martial. Martial. That's it's not martial arts. Arkansas. <laughs> Y'all got to taught some tricks in Arkansas. That's all. Ain't no martial arts in Arkansas. Nobody's teaching martial arts in Arkansas. We got a couple of tricks off the movies. Explain that. What is a martial arts <laughs> martial trick? Martial law. He said they got the code. That's the martial art trick. That's the martial from Arkansas giving the law. That's all they got. They don't got no karate teachers in Arkansas. All they got is motherfuckers who throw bread at ducks and catch them. Yeah, the the duck be like, oh, this motherfucker hit me in the head. Ain't no this, Cobra, ain't ain't no cobra Kai over there. Huh? <laughs> ain't no co Cobra Kai. <laughs> name in the styles. Cornbread style. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, want me to put this sweet water cornbread on your ass, boy? <laughs> The bacon grease, oh shit. Uh, 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 the gravy grip. Right. <laughs> Boy, I will okra your ass you say something else to me in this motherfucker. <laughs> The sweet tea out on your ass, boy. The hog maw. <laughs> oh, what the oh, fuck? You want the couch on the porch? <laughs> Into your neck bone. Keep playing. <laughs> Good little Mark. God dang it. Somebody said hidden ham hock. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm about to hot link this nigga. Yo, I'm about to get this nigga for our motherfucker. We're gonna hot link this nigga. Right. <laughs> I'm about to fish tip you. <laughs> right. Oh, I can't. Uh. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh hitting no, him. We're having fun. We're get that nigga with the country time, Mark. He the deadly pork chop. <laughs> the deadly pork chop. <laughs> I'm finna neck bone me to death. Nero grip this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what did they say? Green beans. What somebody say? Uh, 52. I, I don't oh, know what they said. Ooh, oh, God. shit. He said shit 52 hot right. links. Wait, oh. what? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and a hog head cheese, this nigga. Right. That's <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas style. Oh, man. Ooh. Right, nigga. Uh, I'm about yeah. to boil this boy. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, shit. I will deep fry this nigga over here. You better go. Don't make me have to rib tip you. <laughs> I'm about to get this gas station catfish off on this boy. <laughs> Keep playing now, him. <laughs> gonna sweet tea this nigga to death. You understand me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Hold on. Get That's my favorite. That's my favorite. And you should see the arrest rate. You know that guy got arrested, right? You guy. Yeah. They arrested him. He oh. poked the, he poked the shit out he that motherfucker. The shit out of that man. He I told him he, to get the fuck away though. Did you see the man's face? He actually drew blood. That man's face was bleeding from homeboy's nails. Well, that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> that nigga said, let me tell you something. I'm about to show you that video, Mark. You're going to die. Your Get your ass. That's Arkansas style. That is Arkansas right. style. That's it Arkansas is. Marshall. Uh, I'm about to get, oh, you want the drunken possum style. Somebody <laughs> said up there. Sadiq said, the drunken possum style. Oh, shit. <laughs> Smoke the turkey style. <laughs> 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 nigga, iron Sweet two backhand, this nigga and this <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, God. <laughs> Pig knuckle kick. <laughs> <laughs> the pig knuckle kick. The nigga. crouching chitlin. Oh <laughs> That's when you take your shoe off and ball your foot up, nigga. The pig knuckle kick. These <laughs> <laughs> say gouge you in your black eyed peas. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Oh, it's the mustard, gr <laughs> mustard green grabs, nigga. Mustard green grabs. NJC. <laughs> 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 Nigga, y'all niggas Ooh. stupid. Uh, Sausage link poke. Hot grease fist. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's some southern stuff for well, sure. Wow, pickup oh. truck your ass out here. Oh, God. Peach uh, cobbler strength. Right. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> the raging raccoon. Okay. Right. That's it. That's right. it. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> All right. Ooh. Fuck it. 5150 chat room goons at they finest. Them niggas got jokes too. They, they funny, funny they niggas do. out there, man. They funny. Uh. Anyway, man. So we got it in, man. Once, once, once again, somebody want to plug something? I'm on my way. By the way, I'm on my way to Cincinnati, um, Funny Bone, uh. Thursday night. And then um, Friday and Saturday, I will be at the Columbus, Ohio. Uh. Funny Bone, get your motherfucking tickets. We about to kick it. Anyway, Columbus <laughs> always come out. They fuck with me. Them you places some like gear? that. Yeah, I'm taking some gear. Okay. I'm taking Good. the DCFS sweatshirt. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're going to fit some in some bags. Huh? They're yeah, thick. Yeah, I know okay. they're thick. God damn it. <laughs> Arkansas style. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you call them squish. You right. squish them in the bag. Right, them, uh, them things wide. <laughs> a whole heap of goodies. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, I want to promote something. I want to uh, promote my cameo.com slash Darlene Ortiz. And oh, I want to say Darlene. thank you to everybody that's already um, purchased some. Oh, my God. I've been having way too much fun with this whole thing. I want to thank a few people. My first, my first few, I guess you would call them, what, purchasers or customers? I don't know. They, they bust some cherry? What? What do you mean? You don't see them in person. But anyway, thanks, G. Turner, Kevin, Mike, Frank, Vaughn, Tatiana, Cedric, and Shonda. Anyway, they supported me very well. I really appreciate it. I'm just having so much fun with it. That's so how bitches with good heads out. sound. Oh, oh, gross, <laughs> Corey. You got, man? It's a brain. A <laughs> front, a, 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 you know. It's a hog mole. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and hopefully we'll have Corey on Cameo soon, too. So that'll be great. Yeah, that's how them girls with that good throat be. That's disgusting. <laughs> TMI, yeah, so you ain't gonna stop, huh? Well, here it come, here it come, here it come, here it come, here it come. What? Oh, oh. <coughs> that sound like somebody with no uh, teeth. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't announce uh, <laughs> where it's gonna be on, but uh, I'm gonna be on TV again on November 4th. Oh, shoot. Like, it's gonna be on a major network. Well, what you doing, brother? Man, I, they won't tell. They, they say I can't talk about. It, tell them what it is until after that day. Just it's the True Blood me. reboot. No, right. you playing Lafayette? Right. Fuck no, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You know what? He playing Isaac Hayes' kid. He playing the coach. Right. Of the, what's the, <laughs> what is wrong with Isaac Hayes? I don't know why he thinks Isaac. Hayes. I love Isaac Hayes. Oh, I did a photo shit. shoot with him. She <laughs> cleaned that up good. Don't stop. Somebody said he gonna he be did. on Cops. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They took that off the air, by the way, last year. Fucked up. He doing the Nolan Richardson story. <laughs> he said that, no, darling. No, I don't mean bad. Nolan Why Richardson. Why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs>
<laughs> a real Arkansas nigga know what that is. Is that the Nolan Richardson story? I don't even know who that is. Go ahead. <laughs> So you can't tell us, oh, though, so you can't promote it yet. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Well, when can you? The week of? <laughs> That's a cold one. Nolan Richardson was an ugly yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. That was an ugly yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. That nigga okay. used to be like... Okay, oh, shit. Nolan Richardson's face looked like an orange peel. Yeah. This nigga said yeah. Nolan Richardson's story. Hey, that was when college hoops was crazy. Was some good <laughs> shit say, down Nolan Richardson the basketball coach, right. Uh, oh, man. Anyway, all right, so, no, Zoe, you want to promote something? You still be doing your show? Yes, yes. Where? Yes, oh, yes, what yes. Down there in, in, in Inglewood, right around right, right, right. Damn, you got to put me up on games. Oh, I don't yeah. fuck with you, even though I got to go out of town, get ready so to So you have one tomorrow, there. then? Uh, not tomorrow, oh. but Thursday. But, yeah. shit, when you in town, I didn't know you was in town this week. We could have did that. You know, we'll pull it together. I'm still laughing at this. They say catfish that fool. I can't. I can't. Man, they could just go over to my uh, oh. my YouTube channel and subscribe. Yeah, oh, you yeah. know, go over there, check it out, man. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe the, to Nichols. The Zo What Stop. Show on YouTube. One word. The Zo What Show on YouTube. Just go on over there, subscribe. There you go. Somebody got up there to Players Club too. You know what? I can't. <laughs> 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 Flying squirrel kick. Right. <laughs> 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 Flying squirrel kick. We be joining. A bunch of blood nuts. We be joining. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. Dog walk style. All right. Well, we up out this bitch. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the show, goddammit. I am Corey Holcomb, Darlene OG Ortiz, my man Zoe. Williams and Marcus. You know Marcus. Marcus. You know Marcus. God damn it. 5150. We Go about this big. Go Dodgers. Yeah.